these of our team leaders and going into tonight it is the with sun god team who are leading in the general classification um if you were with us for clacton on sea trinity racing um unfortunately sam culverwell didn't finish he was right up there so um it meant that they've had a shift in the points um, late last night. So going into tonight, with Sun God are at the top of the standings with 47 points. Ribble Weld Tight, they're the team here in the orange and blue colours, the light blue colours. They are second with 43 points. Ribble Weld Tight, the defending uh, champions in the Tour Series. The Wales Racing Academy, they're in that red. They're the, uh, the red there. Um, they are third with 35 points. St. Piran, who are in their black with Cornish Tartan, they are fourth with 33. Spectra Wiggle, um, powered by Vitus, they are fifth with 25. Trinity Racing are now down in sixth with 24. Techers are seventh with 22. PB Performance are 12 points in eighth. Embark, Bike, Strong, 11th, and then No Pins, uh, Motip are uh, in 10th uh, with one point. So Rory Townsend on the front there, Wolf 4 with Sun God. Rory Townsend, great to see Rory Townsend back in the Tour Series. So for River World Tights this evening, we are going to have our sighting lap. We roll out for our sighting lap. So we are away. They join on to the back of the bike. Right up close here, Rory Townsend, former sprints winner, winner of a round in Brooklands, and it always gets very feisty on the back of the bike as everyone just tries to uh, keep that front position for when the bike pulls away at the end of the lap. So Ribble World type this evening, uh, Will Brown, Cameron Jeffers, Ollie Peckover, and then you have Charlie Tanfield and Harry Tanfield. That is the makeup of the Ribble World type team. For with Sun God, they have Ben Perry, the Canadian. So Ben Perry. You then also have Matt Gibson, Matt Bostock, Rory Townsend, and Oliver Wood. For the Wales Racing Academy, Joe Holt, Joseph Beckinsale, Awine Roberts, William Truelove and William Roberts. That is the Wales Racing Academy team. John Mould here for Techers. So Alec Briggs, John Mould, Ben Tuchner, Kim Bowerpank Robinson, Bowerpank Robinson and Neil Phillips for Techers. Ben Chilton, Dan Barnes, Freddie Sheshka and Mikey Mottram for Spectra Wiggle Vitus. You then have just two riders this evening for Trinity Racing. We have Max Walker and Blake Quick. So those are uh, the riders in there for Trinity Racing. Embark Bike Strong, James Bevan, Tom Cousins, Kai Davis, David Hurd, James Sator. PB Performance tonight, James Bentley, Jack, Jack Coates, Toby Jarvis, Kieran Riley, Max Silifant. Then for Global Six, Uko Peltonen, is the rider he is wearing uh, 94. Kian Watts, number 98 there. He's had a good series so far. Alex Williams wearing 99 and Zeno Young for no pins. Matt Wills, Dave Roper, Max Fleming, Dan Schubert, Seb Garrett, Oliver Maxwell, Matt Ellis, Elliot Barrett, uh, Thomas Lather and Luke Norris for SRT Muckoff. We're off and racing. We are through the line. Let's go racing here in the Tour Series. And you can see SLT muck off straight to the front, you would say, for them. It's the first time we've seen them on the front in the Tour Series. So great to see them starting uh, the way they mean to go on here clearly this evening. So they are Ollie Maxwell, Matt Ellis, Elliot Barrett, Thomas Lather and Luke Norris is the team that they've started here 
this evening. And then for 0503, we have uh, Harrison Hunter, Harry Dukes, Rob McPherson, and Monty Garini. That is the team for 0503. That's all of our riders here in this one. So uh, we are going to settle down. One hour and five laps of racing. If you're uh, just joining us, it's the sportsbreaks.com tour series round six here in Barking in London. 1.2 kilometer course. I'm Martin McDonald. Thanks for your company. It's great to have you with us throughout. We have the elite men starting, then the women's race uh, will be at 7.30. And you can see already just how quick this course is is going to ride here um, this evening and we have had some fast racing uh, we've had some blisteringly quick racing you would call it throughout the tour series some of the courses Sunderland was very very fast race Stranraer and Clacton as well even though Cl Clacton was quite technical it was very difficult it's been difficult in the last few rounds for anyone really to get away um, and it has um, you know, it's been a real sort of fight and a real battle at the back of, at the back of the bunch, really. Um, so going through, leading through the line that time, Matt Wills from uh, Motive No Pins Race Team. So he is up there. So William Roberts, well to the front. Max Walker as well. He was wearing 66 for Trinity Racing. And then the Embark Bike Strong uh, colours. Good to see them getting themselves uh, through towards the front. James Bevan, I think it is, that's not far from the front for Embark Bike Strong. So some of the teams that that we really haven't seen at the front so far this series are, are really starting with um, some real passion, real power here to get themselves in the mix early on here in this one and that's what looking at the way these races have been ridden so far that's what you've got to do it's the best it's the best tactic we've just had that throughout when we've seen with sun god and and ribble well tight come to the front and just rip it up on the front and it, it has just very much been a gap goes down the group and all of a sudden there's a big split in the bunch so that's a good tactic for those riders to come through. So we're coming round at the end of the lap. Um, we also have a fastest lap competition as well on the course. So leading through, so William Trulove and William Roberts from Ben Perry, Kian Watts so from Global Six. Good to see him up there. Ollie Wood, Matt Gibson, Matt, uh, Max Walker, Rory Townsend, Liam Mazzoni from St. Piran. He is in ninth, and Oli Peckover is sitting in uh, tenth spot as they went through the line. The Wales Racing Academy as well. Again, they'll be looking to try and uh, sort of make amends again for um, the last round in Clacton. They had uh, man only managed to put one play one counting rider in the front group. So again, the the team that sits third in that general classification are uh, are starting strongly here uh, this evening. but it's a Matt Gibson on the front. We have three intermediate sprints throughout the race. They come about every 15 minutes and our sprints competition is a real hotly contested affair again. It is down between two riders and quite regularly in the tour series um, over the years, it has come down to a real battle between two. And it is Matt Bostock that is at the top of the sprint standings. He has 68 points to Harry Tanfield's 56 and uh, Matt Bostock was our round winner in Clacton and he rode with he was he was a real um, he really wasn't taking any prisoners in Clacton roast really strongly throughout um, in the intermediate sprints but also to take the individual wins on the night and the previous the previous round um, Harry Tanfield had really sort of started to chip away um, at the the lead of Matt Bostock and it really um, is developing really nicely into a, a such a, a strong competition. Matt Bostock is in a yellow jersey because he is also in the with Sun God team um, of the overall leaders. 
Harry Tanfield is wearing that blue freewheel.co.uk sprinters jersey. So you can kind of t help as well, tell him apart from, uh, especially from his brother, because they're both very sort of similar stature, but also from the other River Well type riders, because the blue jersey, our, our sprints jersey, is, is very similar in colour to the River Well type jersey. So he has two blue sleeves, is a good way to try and uh, pick him out. He's a sort of midway. Um, down the group at the moment, but uh, they're all looking around at each other now. Matt Bostock on the front for with Sun God as uh, so River Well type try and move up, and again they need to, they really need to try and um, do something again here this evening with Sun God, and we're seeing. Um, the riders such as Cameron Jeffers uh, up towards uh, the front with Ollie Peckover. We had Harry and Charlie Tanfield in the the front group on the previous round. Um, and then unfortunately Finn Crockett retired from the race which meant they left them only two of their three counting riders in that front group so you can see already the team orders are very much on the early stages here to make sure you pack the front make sure you get your riders up towards the front you can see a few riders here just getting tailed off as we go through there, let's run you through at the moment who was uh, up there. So Matt Bostock leading through the line, just ahead of Matt Gibson, uh, Ben Perry, Rory Townsend and Ollie Wood. That's your with Sun God team. They are all on the front at the moment. And then you have uh, the, we have Oliver Wood, Leon Mazzoni, Ollie Peckover, Charles Page, William Trulove and William Roberts and then just outside your top 10 I'll just pick you out your top 20 in case you're uh, you're following every and uh, anyone in particular so Bradley Simmons Cameron Jeffers Kim Watts Max Walker a wine Roberts Uko Pelton and uh, Dan Barnes Joe Beckinsale and Jacob Fawn that is your top 20 and then Harry and Charlie Tanfield are just sitting in 20th and 21st at the moment so they need there again you can see in terms of moving up here with the the high pace on the front for with sun god and just swapping they're just swapping off on the front here with sun god team we've seen this tactic on these fast courses such as this to just shrink the group down by just disintegrating it from the back as we come round at the end of lap five they're going through, just swinging off the front. Five laps completed. The last lap was a 128.742 lap. There is a few gaps just starting to open within the group. So just over seven and a half minutes of racing so far. Our first intermediate sprint will come after about 15 minutes. So you can see they're constantly just looking back over the shoulder just to see what sort of damage that they're doing to the group and everyone's been out enjoying the barking bike fest today if you weren't with us for clacton on c as i said uh, it was matt bostock that took the individual win on the night ahead of max walker matt gibson and jacob scott and then we had a wine roberts isaac mundy harry tanfield dan barnes charlie tanfield and leon mazzoni that was the order across the line that meant that the round for the team went to with some got ahead of uh, river well tight um spectra wiggle saint Piran, wales racing halibi embark bike strong PP Performance 0503 Techers and Global 6 because the Trinity Racing, because Sam Culverworth didn't manage to finish, it meant that they didn't score any points because they didn't finish three riders and they only went in with three. Um, so the general classification to so with some got 47 to 43 and then our sprint 68 to 56 Bostock to Harry Tanfield. Last year it came down to one point. So we're here embarking this evening. We will then go to our grand finale our grand final in manchester on tuesday night so it's around the dean's the dean's gate area of manchester so if you're watching and you fancy going and checking it out live if you've not been to a round of the tour series and seen it live it's impressive go and have, go along if you can and have a look and get a little group here you won't need a second invitation for these two to to, to carry on with this effort and it looks like Mazzoni is the rider that's having to try and close it down here. And as you said, the right here, you can see they're just swinging around, trying to get back on, and the gap is starting to grow. So 
but looking back no attack just keeping that pace super high on the front and it's just and it, you could see already the damage that the pace here early on in the early stages of this one we've just done just over nine minutes of racing uh, max walker trying to close the gap but look at the gap in the middle there and you see one of our with sun god riders is swinging out the middle of the group there so we're down into sort of three almost three little groups they could the wales racing academy riders just trying to close it back down but matt bostock and ollie wood pressing on with this effort now on the front with max walker and then Char charlie and harry tanfield so harry tanfield recognizing the danger there of matt bostock riding clear so tanfield brings that back with his brother on the wheel so that was a dangerous move so sketchy moment for ribble well tie and in particular for harry tanfield if he wants that sprint to close the gap down in that sprint's classification interesting move i think there might be a little bit of a uh, of a few riders in the middle there just sort of breathing a, a little sigh of relief there as they uh, the way that's uh, been gone rory townsend just comes through so the three the first three teams in the general classification just uh spread across the road there so our St. Piran colours getting up towards the front here so they have uh, they, the St. Piran team have again they've got th they've got three counters in there at the moment for St. Piran Bradley Simmons, he's just got stronger and stronger as the series has gone on. Bradley Simmons from St. Piran to Matt Gibson and William Trulove, Ollie Pekova. So that was your uh, order, your first four across the line. Then Joe Beckinsale from that Wales Racing Academy. Oliver Woods, Rory Townsend just dropping down the groove. So the second St. Piran rider up towards the front is Charles Page. Just all having a little look around here just to see so that group it looked like it was there are some groups that have been split off the back but now we're starting to get some attacks they've kept the pace high early on now we're starting to get some moves as they try to get clear as you said it's very much a, there's been very we had a we had a, a a little breakaway later on in the race at clacton from uh, charlie tanfield and sam Culverwell did manage to stick nothing really has managed to stick on these really fast courses because you can see the pace the, the the effort that it takes to jump off this pace when the pace is this high you really have got to use any of those opportunities here when if the pace just goes out the front momentarily that's when you've got to launch your move The clacks and sounds, we're going to the sprint lap this time. So the first of our intermediate sprints for that blue freeball.co.uk jersey. That's our sprinters classification. Look for Harry Tanfield and Matt Bostock to try and get themselves through towards the front. So Ollie Peckover leading out here for the Ribble Well tight team. Where is Harry Tanfield? Where is Matt Bostock? You can see Matt Bostock in the yellow jersey being led out here by his Whiff Sun God teammates as they come through to start to uh, wind it up. Oliver Wood now. Ollie Wood comes through towards the front. He's going to lead the sprint out. You can see Ribble Well tight trying to bring Harry Tanfield up. Ollie Pekova now comes through. You can There's the figure of Tanfield sitting second behind there behind uh, Cameron Jeffers I think it is or Will Brown now the sprint starts Oof, it's getting spicy out here already isn't it we're on the sprint lap as they try to maneuver the positions here here comes Harry Tanfield round the outside great seated power is Harry Tanfield He's alert. They're trying to bring him up onto the wheel now of Matt Bostock. So five, four, three, two, and one point on offer 
for the sprint. Out of that corner, Bostock makes his move. Tanfield is there. Is Harry Tanfield going to come through and take maximum points? He is indeed. So, comes through. So, Harry Tanfield takes that from Matt Bostock. So, five, four, three, two, and one points. Harry Tanfield needs to put a rider or so in between himself and Bostock if he can. Easier said than done, though. So, Ollie Wood came across the line in fourth. William Roberts in fourth. And Rory Townsend comes across the line in fifth. So, as uh, going into tonight, this it was 68 to 56. And we have three intermediate sprints on the night during the racing so as I said every 15 minutes we also have sprint points on the line as well so as they cross the finish line they also have sprint points there's a replay so the lead out there Harry Tanfield though that familiar style of Tanfield we always talk about his seated power the seated acceleration that Harry Tanfield has he manages to take them. They're quite good. They're quite contrasting riders in terms of their sprint power and style. Matt Bostock and Harry Tanfield. But it really has been lining up this throughout this tour, um, this year's SportsBreak.com Tour Series to to be a real, real battle um, between those two, which has been really good to see. Going through the line. So Will Roberts, Joe Holt, and William Trulove. Wales Racing Academy have been uh, have been given some instructions tonight to get themselves up there. So all five of the Wales Racing Academy riders get themselves up there. What a Wales Racing Academy plan in here. Roberts looks back at his teammate. A little glance down the group just to see what they're doing. And you can see just the size now. The group is just getting whittled down. A few riders still trying to... You can see for a couple of laps now, that group just behind it, just sitting there. It's... An, it's such an uh, it's such a um, you're agonizingly close to the back of the group sometimes and then it's just closing it it's just easier said than done a lot of the time but they're just off the back of the group and they're trying to get back get themselves uh, back in there So 12 laps completed, and uh, we have 125.162, so Max Walker led through that time. I was just seeing if we had a fastest lap yet. But Joe Beckinsale, William Love, William Roberts, and Joe Holt for Wales Racing Academy, can they, uh, what can they do in terms of the standings and trying to close down? Maybe, maybe just a touch. So they are, they've got to defend that third position as well. Between them and St. Piran, they have, there is just two points separating those two teams for that third team spot um, in the um, competition overall. And so it's good to, it's good to see them up there. They were third last year the Wales Racing Academy. Uh, Ribble Well Tight took it one point, one solitary point last year it came down to between them and uh, the Canyon DHB Sungod team as they were uh, last year and that meant that the, the title went to Ribble Well Tight. The Crimson Orientation Marketing team were fourth, Spectra Wiggle were fifth, Scotland were sixth, Tekka's seventh, Superior eighth. So Superior moving up from uh, from last year, and then uh, Spirit Bontrager and Richardson's trek last season were the were the order. Cameron Jeffers on the attack now for Ribble World Tight. So it goes through the line as a glance back over the shoulder. 
Jeffers. Uh, sister Emma has been racing amazingly well in the women's series for uh, Jaden and Viva Lavello. so uh, if you're going to make it make sure you make a full night of it and uh, and stay around for the elite women's race next move in is our Spectra Wiggle Vitus colours the gold, black and grey colours up towards the front. Good, good to see them getting themselves into the mix here. And our blue colours of Embark Bike Strong trying to get clear. So as I said, there's a few teams and a few riders that just seem to have started to click as we uh, as we hit, hit our uh, later rounds of this year's tour series it's been uh, just having a little chat that's the pits that they go past so if you have an issue the team managers and the mechanics are in there bikes and wheels and instructions calling the instructions out to the riders as they go past. So Tom Cousins leads through from Joe Beckinsale, Max Walker, Matt Gibson, William Roberts, Bradley Simmons. So Tom Cousins, rider, multi-discipline multi rider, you would call Tom from the Embark Bike Strong team. So good to see him getting himself up towards the front. Twenty-year-old the from Otley. Showing good speed now on the front. As I said, it's great to see some of our other teams getting in on the mix here. He's won a round of the national junior road race series in his career as well and one with GP he said he's a multi-discipline rider well known in cyclocross the family as well and uh, has podium in a lot number of uh, under national under 23 series races does describe himself as a cyclocross rider. And that, look at the size of that group now. So we go through and we will give you a rundown of who is still in that group. So Max Walker leading, Matt Gibson, Charles Page, Joe Beckinsale, William Roberts, Bradley Simmons, Ollie Peckover, Harry Tanfield, William Trulove, Oliver Wood, Joe Holt, Neil Phillips, Rory Townsend, a Wine Roberts uh, going through in that group. Attack goes in here. Again, just going clear off the front. Roberts from the Wales Racing Canyons. There's a decent gap here. Another one of our Embark Bike Strong team up there. Feeling looking at the order, they kind of went through the line that this could be David Hurd, but we'll have a look when we go uh, through this time. Gibson just trying to come across. That looks like Page. So David Hurd and Joe Holt, Matt Gibson, and it is Charles Page that's trying to come across. And then just on the front of the group, Matt Bostock, Rory Townsend, just behind them. So the start of a four rider leading group now going clear. So good to see Joe Holt getting in on the mix here. 
So one will uh, update you as well on those uh, other competitions within the race. So Joe Holt, another good, good uh, another talented track rider, is Joe Holt. So Matt Gibson, Charles Page for St. Piran, and then Bart Bikestrom. Those are your teams that are represented at the front. We have a River Well tight jersey just coming across. Those are some back markers just on the right there. So we'll have a closer look as they come up just to see who it is that's coming across. Joe Holt. Just about pushing through to the front here. Been a national Madison champion, as I said, talented track rider is Joe Holt, 24 years old now. Been, uh, a couple of times European champion in the team pursuit as an under 23 as well. A little flick of the elbow there by Page. Harry Tanfield, though, just pulls it back together. So the River Well type rider closes that gap down, but it, pro it promises well, doesn't it, that we're starting to get some moves off the front and straight through and straight over the top another one of our Wales Racing Academy jerseys so they as I said earlier on they clearly have had the the team orders this evening that they that they've got to get themselves up there and get themselves in the mix I think it's a wine Roberts that's going clear here with the yellow glasses Matt Gibson Letting it go clear here at the moment. 26, uh, just over 26 minutes of racing. So we're not far away now from our second sprint of the night as well. As that uh, gap just comes back. Plenty of attacks going in here this evening. If you're just joining us, welcome along. Thanks for your company. I hope you're enjoying our live streams of the sportsbreaks.com tour series this year. It, we are in London. We are embarking. Um, for tonight's race, a 1.2 kilometer circuit, one hour plus five laps of racing um, that you have. And it is a team series. If you're tuning in for the first time, if you just happened to across our live stream, welcome. It's a team series. Your team leaders are with Sungod. They are wearing those yellow jerseys. And it's about getting your three counting riders across the line to make sure that you uh, score points. So it won't be long now before we look, uh, we uh, hear the klaxon for the second sprint of the night. So Harry Tanfield taking the first one. See what Matt Bostock can do in the second one. Matt Gibson just takes the chance, have a little glance back over his shoulder. David Hurd's having a great night up there and third in that light blue jersey of Embark Bike Strong. Harry Tanfield just grabbing himself a gel. Ben Perry now through towards the front, the Canadian rider for with Sun God. So from Astana to with Sun God and into the Tour Series. Great to have the Canadian here in the series this year. You can see already they're starting to up the pressure on the front. Just to look at the lead outs now for Matt Bostock for these sprints. And Harry Tanfield, just he's, he's a good surfer. He can surf off the lead outs of everybody else. So uh, Ribble well tight. So he's a rider that they, you can rely on, that he'll just find his way into the right position. The klaxon is sounding though, on to sprint two. And with Sun God are leading this one out. Tanfield and Bostock, you're looking for them. So Perry, Gibson, with this. Uh, Bostock moving out. Harry Tanfield just moves up onto the lead out now of the with Sun God team. But he needs to he needs to try and get some riders in between. He needs some he needs some allies if he's going to close this one down to Matt Bostock. Looking at the sprints we've got to come in our final two rounds. 
here in Barking and our grand final in Manchester on Tuesday. Gibson constantly just checking back over the shoulder just to see where the rest of the riders are. Right on his wheel is Ollie Wood. He has a look around and they'll see the tall figure of Harry Tanfield in that light blue jersey with the orange helmet. He's got some, uh, some strength with some teammates up here as well. What can they do with him for him in terms of the lead outs? It is a finish that does, uh, you would look, it does suit him. Matt, Matt Bostock just, he rode the Clacton race like it was on rails. He had the final corner absolutely dialed into perfection. It just really, it just suited him. But the, they're just trying to find their way out. They're out of that bottom corner there, up towards the line. They're going to open up the sprint. Bostock goes for it. And going through, and that is a good advantage there. Harry Tanfield doesn't score so Matt Bostock comes off the wheel of his teammates he takes five points in that sprint so that is a good ride there by the the Whiff Sun God rider so he took it from Ollie Wood Ollie Peckover William Trulove and Rory Townsend so Whiff Sun God putting riders in between the sprint leader and the man in second place in Harry Tanfield. So Tanfield and Vettel now. Okay, what sort of switch of tactics can Harry Tanfield make in this one to see what he can do in the uh, third counting sprint? And then, of course, on the line. So the third sprint of the night will be after about 45 minutes of racing. If you are just joining us, it's round six. We are embarking. And it's a round venue for the first time here embarking. A little move just to go and clear. They get plenty of riders feeling fresh that every time something gets off the front. They're just dragging it back. There's five, six riders now just going clear here. Gibson swings off, has a look all around. So Pekova, Oli Pekova from Rory Townsend, Will Roberts, Charles Page, Max Walker and Joe Holt is the makeup of those six riders at the head of the race. Walker looks around. So two riders in here for Wales Racing Academy. Charles Page, very vigilant tonight as well for some Pyrenees in that black jersey with the purple and green helmet. So plenty of looking back over the shoulder. We just need to get, they just need to get their break organized here. So most of our teams here, you would say, would be fairly happy with the makeup of this breakaway group. Rory Townsend. With Sun God, you can see Rory Townsend back in the Tour Series. It really was a the, the the place where we really first saw Rory Townsend start to sort of make his name in cycling was the Tour Series. It's been the case for many riders over the years. Heck of a, as well, just starting to find his legs a little bit here in. Uh, in Barking. We have seen him in breakaways as well in the series so far. The gap. Is it holding? Is it growing here from our six leaders? So this is uh, 21 laps of racing. They've come round to complete 22. And there's your chasing group. And there is the next group. So we've got a couple of riders in this group here. So Jeffers, Cameron Jeffers is in that group. Rory Townsend is at the front. So Matt Bostock. So Oliver Wood. So we've got Matt Gibson, Oliver Wood. I'll just update who's where. Because Harry Tanfield is in this in this group here. So there's Tanfield coming around the corner. Where's Matt Bostock? That's the question. So this group is growing in numbers. Matt Gibson is just on the back of the group, I think. So with Sun God, they've got to look around. They've got to be careful here as well. 
So you've got two in there for River World tight. You've got Ollie Peckover and Harry Tanfield. You've got two in there for St. Piran in Charles Page and Leon Mazzoni in this group. You've got three in there for the Wales Racing Academy. You can pick out three of them. We've got four Wales Racing Academy jerseys. And then just coming across the gap is Neil Phillips from Tekkers. So Neil Phillips of Tekkers is almost on to the back. So a sizable group now going clear. That looks like Ben Perry on the back. So Matt Gibson is in there. So take you through the line. Harry Tanfield, Wine Roberts, Leon Mazzoni, Joe Holt, Rory Townsend, Joe Beckinsale, Matt Gibson, Charles Page, William Trulove, Ollie Peckover, Will Roberts, Max Walker, Neil Phillips and Ben Perry. Four seconds back to the group, which is led through by Neil Phillips. Going through next. So the sprints leader. I don't know if he's had an issue, Matt Bostock, but he's seven seconds off the back of this group at the moment is... Matt Bostock. They've got, in terms of the team classification, they've got their three counters in here, have with Sun God, with Ben Perry just on the back of the group. The gap, though, is opening. They are working and persisting with this effort, though, with Sun God, with Rory Townsend. So if you are, it's three riders to count for the team classification. That's why we uh, we talk about the team throughout the night. And it just caught a glimpse as well of Charlie Tanfield in the pits. He's retired. He was just shouting to the side, maybe letting the, the riders from his team know that he, that he has retired for whatever reason. Um, so Charlie Tanfield in that in the pits has uh, has retired from the race. As you chase it, there's Bostock just going through your picture. Wales Racing Academy. You can see why they're such a good unit as a team pursuit team, can't you? In terms of you look at the the stature of the Wales Racing Academy team. Very, they're, uh, they look like they've all been stamped out of the same mould. They're a real powerful unit on the Wales team. And of course, teams like the Wales, teams like the Wales Racing Academy and Home Nations prepping for the upcoming Commonwealth Games this summer in Birmingham, which is going to be interesting. So this team are all vying for their Commonwealth Games positions within the team, whether that's within the team pursuit team, whether that's going to be on, on the on the track in in other disciplines but you can see they're really now keeping the hammer down on this one drop the big power on the front and uh, this group is pulling clear of those next chasers so out of that uh, bottom corner Oli Pekova comes through so Joe Holt uh, in there, Wine Roberts. So Oli Pekova leads through that lap. We've had 25 laps of racing in 38 minutes and 52 seconds. So it's pretty quick out there here this evening. Matt Gibson came across the line in second for with Sun got a Wine Roberts, Harry Tanfield, Joe Holt, William True Love, Ben Perry, Max Walker, Will Roberts, and Charles Page with your top ten across the line. Harry Tanfield now up towards the front. Tanfield perhaps recognizing that Gibson might have just been uh, happy to take the uh, the pressure off the front just a touch. But we're seeing the other yellow jerseys a little bit further down the groove. This is a dangerous move now with Harry Tanfield going clear. Matt Gibson right on the wheel. They've got a gap. And they swing out. Harry Tanfield, this is the sort of ride that he can do. Fabulous time trialist is Harry Tanfield. 
for Ribble Well Tight. They've just been, uh, they didn't have the greatest start to the Tour Series this year with sixth in Gisborough, but they've just been chipping away at the deficit to the other teams as the rounds have gone on. Max Walker for Trinity Racing is the rider that's trying to get across here, but he is just bringing the group across with him at the moment as they go through the line. So leading trio as Max Walker in the blue of Trinity gets past that group of la uh, group of lapped riders. So uh, just over 40 minutes, about just inside a, a few laps now to our uh, final sprint of the night. Roberts. Gibson makes a move. Last year's sprints winner, Matt Gibson. So plenty of action at the front. It's Harry Tanfield from Matt Gibson and Max Walker as they try to just take this group off the front. You can see there's a little bit of daylight and some yellow jerseys trying to come across the gap. We've had rounds this year as well. Torcer has done 60 laps in one of our, one of our rounds. So just having a little look down the group, Matt Bostock is back in there. Ben Perry, the rider out of the saddle, a little bit further down there. Four with Sun God. Bradley Simmons just towards the back there as well. For St. Piran. Back to the front. You can just see some of the riders as well. Just got the, the gel, energy gel, just uh, up the leg of their shorts. You see that as well in the a race. Now we're plus five laps. Some riders just feel that sometimes they just need a little bit of energy later on in the race, especially at this pace. Remember, 1.4 kilometers is uh, is the uh, circuit. 1.2 kilometers, rather, is the circuit. So we've already done 27 laps, and we're only 41 minutes in. So we do one hour. As we go through the hour, we get shown five laps to go. So uh, hence why you can see the riders just sometimes they just need a little gel, something like that, a little bit later on in the race, just give them that uh, that extra bit of energy. Next move goes in. Just managing the moves. Bostock goes. One to lap to go to the sprint. And Matt Bostock just launches a move here. He's got Cameron Jeffers and Awain Roberts with him. So Bostock, Jeffers and Roberts. Harry Tanfield a little bit further down the group. So Matt Bostock looking to try and sew up this sprint's competition here this evening, if he can. Took maximum points on that second sprint and Harry Tanfield didn't score. Harry Tanfield's got to move up here towards Bostock if he can. Easier said than done. It's easy for us sitting here in the commentary box saying it, isn't it? You can see trying to move up when the pace is this high as well. And for Bostock, for the team, they've got such strength within that team that they'll be confident that they can finish those three riders in those top three positions. And Bostock, great track rider as well. As, uh, Matt Bostock really sort of focuses on the road now, but he can do long, sustained efforts like this as well. Neil Phillips. See those Tekkers colours, local team here. They're looking to try and show themselves in London. But Bostock going clear here. Jeffers just swings out. Matt Bostock going alone. And he'll look back over the shoulder. 
as Harry Tanfield tries to come up and take second place points, so he does, but Vostok takes maximum points again, and Harry Tanfield finds his way through to take second spot in that one, so five to Vostok, four to Tanfield, then you've got a Wine Roberts, Kian Watts, and Joe Holt, that's your order across the line. But the sprint points will also be on the line. So, and Matt Bostock, of course, took that um, at Clacton on Sea as well. So he uh, won the race. He won the had the individual win on the night. So he took maximum points on the line in the last uh, round. I'll just we have at the moment uh, looking down we have 24 riders still left in this group by my calculation and then the next group are at one lap so that's yeah about 20 just over 20 riders about 24 riders are still in there on 29 laps at the moment, so I'll just run you through them, just in case you're cheering for anyone in particular. So Matt Bostock, Harry Tanfield, Wine Roberts, Kim Watts, Joe Holt, Leon Mazzoni, Rory Townsend, Neil Phillips, William Trulove, Cameron Jeffers, Ollie Peckover, Joe Beckinsale, Ollie Wood, we've got Matt Gibson, Ben Perry, William Roberts, Kim Riley, Charles Page, Max Walker, Dan Barnes, Bradley Simmons, Uko Pelton and Thomas Lauder. Toby Jarvis, I think, was the uh, the last rider to go through. That was at the end of uh, the last lap. Toby Jarvis from Team PB Performance. So the way the team classification works is 10 points for the winning team, down to one point for the 10th placed team. So there's plenty of fights between uh, now and the uh, grand final in Manchester on Tuesday as Matt Gibson goes again for with Sun God. So between them. So 47 points for with Sun God going into tonight to River Well Tights 43. And the Wales Racing Academy is perhaps looking to try and move themselves. They can, they can take the amount of riders that they've got in this group as well. Can they uh, move themselves up? It would be quite a tall order with two rounds to go, but it's not outside the realms of reality. We've got to hope sometimes. And so four riders going clear. So Matt Gibson, Max Walker, Neil Phillips. And uh, looks like Joe Holt again just going uh, clear. Was Joe Holt, Neil Phillips for Techers comes through. So the team of Alec Briggs, local team. Again, it just comes back. Harry Tanfield brings it back. There's been multiple occasions so far this evening, hasn't there? Well, we've thought this one's going to stick. Can this one go clear? But at the moment, nothing managing to get clear, but plenty of attacks, though, which is uh, what we wanted. Is Phillips going to line himself up to try and launch one here? It's not straight away. It's just with Sun God as well, one after the other as they make their moves. Townsend they try and get clear and the pace to take this one clear at the jumping off that high pace that we've got at the front and they've got a gap and that's a decent gap now can they uh, continue with this one Oli Pekova sat uh, second wheel. There's Max Walker comes through to try and close that one down. But Oli Pekova leads through. 
So from Joe Beckinsale and Rory Townsend, Max Walker just off the back of Matt Gibson, just heading the bunch, what's left of the bunch behind. Is this one going to be the one that finally sticks? You got three, you got our top three teams now represented in this breakaway group. So Ollie Pekova, Joe Beckinsale, Rory uh, Townsend, and Max Walker on the back. fastest lap 127.330 max walker's fastest lap 125.162 so far this evening back in cell little flick of the elbow for rory townsend to come through Rory Townsend, he's had a fairly solid season. He's had some good inter international races in the legs as well so far this season as Rory Townsend rode the uh, the Classica Comunità Valenciana at the beginning of the season. Then they went to Turkey and they rode the Tour of Antalya. There's a lot of UCI races over in Turkey in addition to the, to the yearly Tour of Turkey, the big one. Top 10 in the, the Wally Gimba trophy as well. Rode the Volta Limburg, the Arno Wallen Memorial. And uh, it's had the local wins as well. It was 13th in, uh, in Clapton. So with Sun God very much in control still, even though. So they've got one rider in this leading group. So one rider from four teams now represented uh, in this group. Townsend as well had a great win last year in the Tour of Mirabel. Won the points classification there in that one as well. Was quite consistent in uh, local races. Rest the Tour of Britain as well did Rory Townsend. Ollie Peckova on the front here. And again, it's good to see different names getting themselves up there as well. Townsend was up there in the Tour of Britain in that took that sprint classification, that intermediate sprint competition, 2019. He had a good year that year as well. A couple of international wins over in China, Tour of Fushu. And then we remember him from that race in Brooklands. It was really tight, very technical when we went to Brooklands for the uh, round of the Tour Series in 2019. But Rory Townsend leads through. This is a decent gap now. So this breakaway group of four riders, the gap is uh, growing as we head toward, we've done 53 minutes of racing. This looks like a gap now that can start to go clear. And you can see the pressure now has gone off the front as Bradley Simmons makes his move. And you've got to say the train's already left the station in this one and it's going at some pace. To get on there, it's 29 seconds. There, uh, 28 seconds. The gap. Um, we're making it between that the, our breakaway group of four and that chasing group behind. So Bradley Simmons has got his work cut out to try and close this sort of gap. On his own at this stage. You can see Max Walker getting himself up there as well, though, for Trinity Racing. Another rider, so busy season. Second in Clacton as well, so second in the last round. Can he go one better here this evening? They've had quite a series of uh, Trinity Racing. Individual wins on the night with Blake Quick and Luke Lamperti. Can Max Walker add his name into the mix of that one? As our announcer on the lines there, if you can hear him, six minutes of normal racing before they get shown five laps to go. So 
for the teams on the front. So for with Sun Gods, they'll be content with the makeup. Matt Bostock is the rider on the front of the group. For with Sun God, 35 laps of racing we have completed so far. So one of our next groups going through. So any of our lapped groups get pulled out with three laps to go. So they get to sprint for their placings and just to make sure that uh, we have a clear track for the finish. So that the, uh, so the, the lap riders sprint out with three laps to go and then they're all given their, uh, their positions for the team standings. So if you haven't been with us so far in the series, we started in Gisborough. Thomas Mean and Matt Bostock away. They lapped the entire field. They didn't go past the entire field. They just kind of kicked back on the back once they caught and then raced out and tried to kind of cross the line together. But Thomas Mean was uh, rolled across the line first, head of Bostock um, with Harry Tanfield third. That meant with Sun God took the win on the night, head of Wales Racing Academy in Techers. We then went uh, to Scotland and uh, for round two, and it was Jim Brown from Matt Bostock and Finn Crockett with Wiff Sun God from Ribble and the Wales Racing Academy on uh, on that occasion. So the uh, the way that the uh, the series has panned out so far. So from Gala Shields to Sunderland for round three, that was Blake Quick from Luke Lampert Finn Crockett. To, we went to Strunra for round four, and that was Luke Lamperti from Harry Tanfield, Matt Bostock with Ribble, well tight, taking the win on the night ahead of with Sun God and Trinity Racing on round three. Ribble, Trinity, and then the very, uh, with Sun God. That's how we've got to the position that we have in the standings. Um, so Matt Bostock winning in Clapton on C, with Sun God taking the team win on the night. That's how they are at the top of the standings. So that's the, the story of the sportsbreaks.com tour series so far. But you have four rider leading group. If you're just uh, joining us, we are heading towards the hour of racing where they will be shown five laps to go. So Rory Townsend, Ollie Peckham, and Max Walker and uh, Joe Beckinsale. Those are the four riders in your leading group. Joe Beckinsale, another uh, multi-discipline rider, Joe Beckinsale, 21 years old, Western Welsh national champion on the mountain bike in the cross country he, is, uh, he has had. Good time trialist as well, he's had a win this year as well, the Sanderson's two day. And also won uh, round one of this year's Welsh national mountain bike series as well. So the man on the back here, we're at number 25. And you just see Holly Peckover just checking his shoes. Just tightening his shoes. Back to our chasers. So you can see here 58 minutes of racing and counting. So with Sun got quite happy to have Rory Townsend up there. They uh, will feel that Townsend, because Townsend's got a good sprint on him, Rory Townsend. So they'll be happy in terms of the individual win on the night and also the makeup of how the riders that they've got in that chasing group behind in terms of making sure that they take the team win on the night. So uh, Rory Townsend here in the yellow freeworld.co.uk jersey. Those are our leaders' jerseys. Ollie Peckover, great position on the bike, isn't he, Ollie Peckover? As well, all the ripple, all the ripple, well tight um, riders, because a lot of them are, are very, very tall as well, um, and they really have so he's so flexible as well. Quite, it's Harry Tanfield, Charlie Tanfield, the same. It's just the way he just kind of folds himself into the bike. Because uh, Ollie Peckover, but Max Walker, he will be wanting to uh, take the individual win on the night here for Trinity Racing, as unfortunately, they only because they only start with two riders, it means they won't score in the team standings, which is a shame, because they really, the way they came into the Tour Series this year, they really came in with a bang with bringing US National Criterium champion, Luke Lamperti, and also Blake Quick, who's, um, you know, the successful Aussie, um, who was also, he's also been up there as well. So for, 
Max Walker on the back here. He'll be uh, he'll be looking to try and uh, take this one for Trinity Racing, make sure they take three wins from the series. Rory Townsend ups the pace on the front, though. They're keeping it nice and high. And uh, the gap, the last gap that we had was about 35 seconds. We'll get a count this time when we go through the line from our leaders to our chasing group. So they're looking for a bit of a time gap. So 56 seconds, the timing is just uh, switched over to. So Ben Perry at 56 seconds. The timing is showing Leon Mazzoni of St. Piran on the same laps at 35 seconds. So Leon Mazzoni, we'll see if we can catch a glimpse of him. To me, looks like he's in the gap between the first and second groups, between our breakaway and our chasers. Five laps to go this time. Five laps remaining. Who is going to be your winner? You would say out of this group, given the gap that it is with five laps to go, looking at the class of this group, you would say that our winner is going to come from this group here. Is our teams behind are quite content with Sun God, quite content with their man at the front for an individual win on the night. Matt Bostock taking the win in Clacton on C. Can Rory Townsend bring it home here? There's Oli Beckinsale, there's Oli Peckover. Great to Tour of Britain last year as well. Did Oli Peckover got himself up there in Aberdeen in the uh, top 10 on that stage? So uh, a good top ten there. Wout, Wout Van Aert taking the stage. Andre Greipel, Mark Cavendish, Rory Townsend in sixth in that one. To so just give you uh, put into uh, perspective, uh, as I said, we've got a classy breakaway group here. So that sprint when you look at Wout Van Aert, Andre Greipel, Mark Cavendish, and then Rory in sixth, and Oli Pekova in eighth. Our two riders here, so Oli Pekova on the front in the orange and light blue colours of River Welter. They're going to come round at the end of this lap. So a fast race we have had yet again. 40 laps completed as they get to see. Four laps to go this time. We'll have a look down through the uh, race as well. We're looking for that black jersey as well of Leon Mazzoni. Um, we'll see if we can pick him out in the gap because the uh, my timing is showing he's on the same laps and he was uh, about 35 seconds. It'll be a lot to get across, across 35 seconds with four laps to go. And you can see Beckinsale now just tightening his shoes. Shaking out the legs, just trying to get a little bit of life into those legs as we kind of get to that point. At the, in this point in the race, you start to go into that race winner mode, that sprinter mode. The red mist starts to descend. You start to play around in your head. How am I going to win this one? Where am I going to go? You're going through the laps thinking, right, where am I going to make my move? Um, where is the wind blowing across the circuit? And the Wales Racing Academy are on the front here. Four laps to go this time. So they've got their man in that breakaway group, but they want the position at the front as well in terms of the uh, the points for the general classification. So Will Roberts leading Joe Holt, a wine Roberts and Ben Perry through, but the uh, the Clint Townsend and Peck over here just starting to uh, there's a little gap there. Got to be careful here. Max Walker wants the the back um, position on the group. Townsend is an experienced rider as well, Rory Townsend. They're starting to look around at each other already. Townsend just manoeuvring everyone into the position that he wants. A one career tour series win in Brooklands for Rory Townsend. For the other riders in the group, they're, they're, they will be new names to add to the mix in the tour series if they manage to take the win here. Three laps to go this time. Do they all fancy their chances? in a sprint. Townsend, just a little dial in of the shoes just to make sure the feet are secure. 
Walker's doing the same to all of them, just adjusting their shoes, making sure that they feel really snug. Just make sure they get all of the power down in the sprint. Beckinsale looks back over the shoulder. So Pekka here, also a good sprinter. You don't finish in the top 10 in the Tour of Britain stage win as well against the, those sort of uh, class of riders if you're uh, if you're not a fast finisher so some of our lapped riders they're just sprinting it out for their positions this is definitely going to be an interesting sprint this one out of this group of four so Wales Racing Academy represented here with Joe Beckinsale in the red Trinity Racing for Max Walker in the blue and the pink wearing 66 in the yellow jersey Rory Townsend of with Sun God Ollie Pekova now just starting to skip a few turns on the back so Pekova just moves across he wants the wheel of Beckinsale clearly wants the back position here there's you can see 150 meters to go from that corner kind of straightens out there with a hundred meters to go going through the line two laps to go this time two to go around this 1.2 kilometer circuit here in London we are embarking this evening great to see barking hosting a round of the tour series for the first time it's great to be back in the capital what a venue, what a day of fun they've had here in the sunshine. Who is going to take this one, though? Walker takes the opportunity to just get a drink on the back of the group. Townsend, they've got to keep the pressure on here. They've got to keep that pace on. And the crowd really getting behind them. Walker just leaves a little gap. Townsend drops right to the back of the group. Here's your chasers. So count your jerseys in here as well. So don't forget, if you are just joining us and you haven't seen the Tour Series before, it's a team competition, hence why you have four, uh, five yellow jerseys out there rather than just the one. So you've got your three counting riders. So it's all about this group. It's all about as well the individual win on the night, but also for Ribble Well type uh, for with Sungut and the Wales Racing Academy. Can they perhaps just take a second? They've got to take, it sets those three teams up as well, beautifully for the team win on the night and also for Wiv Sun God in particular to try and uh, maintain a solid lead in the team competition. Townsend just moves up here. So through this corner, just wants that position. You could just, you could almost see the tactics bouncing around in the head of these four riders, can't you? As they, as Oli Pekova just swings off the front. One lap to go this time. Rory Townsend comes through, looks to try and get a bit of momentum as Pekova swung off the front. Townsend made a little move there. Pekova closes it down. Walker fighting to stay there as well. Townsend affords himself now. Glance over the shoulder as Beckinsale comes through. Pekova, though, is not going to come through. He just latches himself onto the wheel of Rory Townsend. Walker, you would say, He's got the charm position now on the back of the group. Is he going to leave it to the sprint? He finished well in the last round in Clacton. Did Max Walker, can he go one better here and take the victory? Beckinsale's got the front position though for the Wales Racing Academy. He's got to just try and hug those barriers, force everyone else to come round on the outside. Just swinging left and right as he tries to set himself up as well. Perhaps just dropping back. One lap to go now for the bunch led through by Matt Bostock and Hollywood. Bradley Simmons up there as well it is a little a game of cat and mouse at the front here as uh, Pekova is the rider on the front who is going to be the first rider to make their move here in the sprint as Beckinsale drops down to the back Pekova hugging the barriers just taking those little glances back over his shoulder Walker takes a look to see where Beckinsale is powerful rider here on the back for the Wales Racing Academy but Rory Townsend you can see second position Who's going to be the one to make the move? Beckinsale's just laying off. Is he going to try and take a flyer here, get a run through the uh, the back wheel there of Max Walker? But Max Walker's the first rider to go. Townsend is straight in on him. Peck of a ride on the wheel. Max Walker starts to line this one up. Walker is there. Peck of a, and then Townsend. Beckinsale fighting to get back in through this final sweeping bend. Walker on the front. Is Max Walker going to hold it? Peck of a trying to come through. Here comes Rory Townsend. Is it going to be Peck of a or Townsend? Oh, throw to the line there. It was close. It could be a photo finish in that one. Oh, that was tight. 
Oli Peckham, Rory Townsend throwing the bikes at the line. It's third for Max Walker and Joe Beckinsale. Quite a sprint between those two riders. We'll see how it's adjusted. The timing's going uh, as we go back to the group. As uh, they've got the two jerseys up towards the front there. So Tanfield and Jeffers getting some, getting themselves through there. So Matt Bostock in fifth, then Harry Tanfield, Cameron Jeffers, Kieran Riley, Charles Pace. So we'll see how that affects the team classification on the night. What a sprint between those two riders. Let's have a look from this angle. Who's got it? So they're going to throw the bikes to the line. Here's our replay. Oh, it's so tight. The timing is saying Pekova. So we'll see if they've gone to. Uh, we'll see if they've gone to the uh, the photo. That be a, if it is Pekova. That would be a great win for him. 44 laps completed around here this evening. So the, uh, the, t the positions are saying at the moment to Oli Pekova, Rory Townsend, Max Walker. So if uh, Pekova's got it, it is showing him at the top of the timing. So uh, it's... Do you want the numbers? So 109, uh, one hour, nine minutes, 51.247, Rory Townsend. 109.51.253. So uh, that's so close. Look at this, the throw to the line. This, they can really as well, they can split the photos as well, like a pixel on a computer screen now in terms of the resolution. But it is saying Oli Pekover at the top, uh, ahead of Roy Townsend. And then Tanfield and Jefferson, Boss, Matt Bostock in fifth, then Harry Tanfield sixth, Cameron Jeffers seventh. And I'm just looking down to see where our third counting uh, with Sun God rider is. And it was Ben Perry, 22nd, where's Ollie Wood? So Oliver Wood was 18th out of that group. So that's going to be interesting in terms of the team standings. Great to see all the uh, the fans out at the side. But let's have a look back at the race. What a night again. So quick around this barking circuit. Matt Bostock really uh, looking to make that sprint classification his own. Take some good points again this evening. So taking second in the first sprint with Harry Tanfield taking first. Take the second one with Harry Tanfield not scoring. And then in sprint three, Tanfield first, uh, Bostock first, Tanfield second. And this was our breakaway group. So four riders going clear. So Ollie Peckover, Max Walker, Rory Townsend, and Joe Beckinsale. Townsend attacking through the line. Peckover, that was the point where he swung off when they went through the bell. Walker went long, didn't he, Max Walker? Long sprint. Peckova had the advantage there of the slipstream. Townsend comes out of the slipstream. But Peckova holds that power to the line. You've got to say, biggest win of his career so far for Oli Peckova. see if that if, is that enough to give Ribble World Type the win on the night. Good four rider group. They worked really well together in that one, didn't they? I hope you enjoyed that. Exciting race here to our first visit to Barking. The, the women's race takes place at 7.30, so make sure uh, you get yourself set up for that. We have a little break in between the two races. We'll stay with us for the podium, and then we come back for the uh, women's race at about 25 past seven. So you've got time to go away, get your snacks and your drinks set up, get everything ready to come back and watch the women's race. So um, make sure you uh, make sure you do that. So 25 past the hour. And also put in your diary as well for Tuesday, Tuesday night. 
um, we have our grand final in uh, Manchester here in the sportsbreaks.com tour series. So uh, make sure you join us for that. Can't believe it's almost over as well. And don't forget as well, if you enjoyed that and you want to watch our highlights program, our, which is on ITV4 at 7, uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow, Sunday, 22nd. Um, so make sure you uh, check them out. And if you can't see it, it's on the ITV hub for 30 days as well. So Ollie Pekova celebrating, as you would expect. Great to see another name up there to take uh, to take a victory. As we will say, it's a it's a series that has found us some real talents over the years. And there's a replay of your sprint. So it's a win on the night there for Ribble Well Tight. Getting their first individual win of this series. And it has done that will do them no harm at all in terms of uh, the team classification as well. So last year it came down to one point with Ribble Well Tight taking the, the series overall. In 2019 and 2018, it was Canyon DHB and Canyon Iceberg, or with Sungod as they are now. So they're uh, they're looking to retain it, and they really haven't missed a beat throughout this year's tour series with Sungod. Would you like to know a bit about barking while we're here? We do this. We use this moment between the, uh, the end of the race and the podium uh, while they get ready to let you know where we are. So uh, I'll just give you a little bit of info. It says the economic centre of London moves ever eastwards. Barking and Dagenham is increasingly at the heart of the capital. It is a young and dynamic borough with a proud history and a future full of promise. Historically, Barking was the, ho was the home to some of the most powerful independent women in Britain. The abbesses of Barking, whose seat was amongst the richest in the country from the 7th century until dissolution by Henry VIII in 1539. Uh, although all that remains of the Abbey today is a ghostly silhouette of foundation stones, you can still see the beautiful curfew tower um, that stood at the entrance. Pioneering women have moulded the borough throughout history, including Mary Wollstonecraft, well-known suffragettes, and more recently, the women of Fords, who started out striking for their rights and ended up as the architects of our current equality legislation. They were commemorated in the film Made in Dagenham. These stories will shortly be celebrated in a new visitor attraction in Bath the East End Women's Museum, which is opening at the end of this year. Ford was the biggest and well-known local employer until recently, but the borough is now reimagining itself as a hub for new industries, particularly the food and creative sectors. Um, these have been buoyed by the imminent arrival of London's major whole food markets, Billingsgate, New Spitalfields and Smithfield, and by a range of independent studios, galleries and workshops, and Eastbrook Studios, London's newest, London's newest and largest film and TV complex opening soon, but has already hosted blockbusters and popular series such as Marvel's Black Widow and EastEnders. And this uh, round today has been part of the inaugural Barking Bike Fest, which uh, we'll see the historic Abbey Green has been the, the backdrop throughout the day um, for loads of community fun and cycle themed activities. So that's a little bit about Barking. Um, if you uh, are interested, just in case you're not tuning in as well from the from the UK, from our live stream around the world, uh, that's a little bit about where we are. What a sprint, what a finish. That was a great round. We really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. We've had individual wins so far this series for Thomas Mean, Jim Brown. We've had Blake Quick, Luke Lamperty, Matt Bostock, and now Ollie Peckova. So a well-deserved win there for the River Well type man on the night. So fastest laps. I'm just having a look at the fastest laps. So 125.162 by Max Walker. I, from my um, screen, I think that's the fastest lap that I can see so far. So one. 20. So 125.448, 125.751 for early word, slightly slower. So it could be, it could be, um, um so 125.448 for Matt Bostock. Yeah, so 124, 125. Yeah, could be, uh, that could be, uh, I think that's our fastest lap, 125.162.
I'll just give you your top 10 individuals as they cross the line, just to give them a little celebration. So Oli Pekova, Roy Townsend, Max Walker, Joe Beckinsale was your, your breakaway group. Matt Bostock leading the bunch over ahead of Harry Tanfield, Cameron Jeffers. Then Kieran Riley crossing the line uh, in eighth place. Um, for Team PB Performance. Then you had Charles Page of St. Piran coming across the line in ninth. Then Joe Holt in 10th for the Wales Racing Academy. Then was our next counting rider. So our third counter for With Sun God was Oliver Wood. Ollie Wood was in 11th. So, um, yeah. It's going to be interesting, and the Manchester circuit is going to be quick as well. It is a square, and it is going to be fast, but given how they raced Barking, it definitely lines us up beautifully for the for the grand final. I was quite a little bit most of risk, yes. <laughs> I was quite glad when that move went at the end, and then we could just ride on real easy. Uh, well, that is what happened. And there was four sets of fresh legs compared to you lot um, going around. But anyway, you need to get yourself to the podium to give Ollie a big cheer, because uh, it's going to be a good moment for your team. Thank you very much. All the very best for uh, for, for Tuesday. See you then. Cheers. I was just listening in. Uh, letting you listen in there to Harry Tanfield's interview, because it was picking up. Hopefully, it was uh, you could hear it as well. So we are about 30 minutes away as well from the women's race. So we do take a, sh uh, a brief break. So make sure you um, come back and enjoy that one as well. Stay with us for our podium. Um, we have had quite a series so far as well. And again, um, just like Ollie Peckover here, Sammy Stewart of uh, Team LDM Brother UK has definitely been one of the finds of the Elite Women's Series as well. So um, we've had some great racing. Uh, we've had, uh, again, great wins as well for, for the likes of Emma Jeffers. You've just seen her brother Cameron uh, up there as well for, for River World Tide. So we've uh, we've had team wins on the night as well for some teams as well that have been around the tour series for many many years we've been going since 2009 um for the men's series for a 13th, 13th edition of the tour series and it's unique team format i think as well it's uh, just gives something different a little different dynamic in uh, in the world of cycling so uh, and always good to come and visit different places as well So our uh, podium ceremony about to begin. So from Amazon Key, Amazon Key Nick Padawan is going to be uh, on the podium there. Amazon delivery of the night is the flowers for our individual round winner. From the team of Ribble, well tight pro cycling, your so winner. Our individual winner. Zero. Zero six of a second is Ollie Pekova. Six of a second, there you have it. Ollie Pekova, a new name in the tour series on the top step of the podium. And River World Tight get their first individual win of the series so far. And we've had over the years, over the 13 seasons, breakthrough moments um, by young riders coming in and, and winning rounds of the series. He's 24 years old, is Oli Pekova. So Oli, and we shall move on to our individual sprint winner so on individual the sprint win on the night. The team of WIV Sun God once again so triumphing in the sprint. The with Matt Sun God rider Bostock. looks like Matt Bostock. He has taken the sprint win on the night as our sprint leader. Battles back the uh, and has been battling that challenge in the last couple of rounds of Harry Tanfield. 
So the team well, win you, the on team the night. Ribble, well tight, Ribble, well tight take, take the team the win. The stage, they the got themselves up there. The so the first the counter, Ollie, Ollie Pekova. Second and third Ollie counters, Ollie Harry Tanfield, Tanfield, Tanfield and Cameron well Jeffers. So Will Brown, Cameron Jeffers, Ollie Pekova, Charlie and Harry Tanfield are your team winners on the night for Ribble well tight. Top of the leaderboard, a great night for Ribble Worldside Pro Cycling. So the next well, one round Who to go, our grand final in Manchester on the Tuesday. They have led throughout uh, the, the series. The evening, the the so we're going to take the, the fastest lap. Max Walker it is takes the fastest lap with 125.162 for Trinity Racing. Got himself up there in that breakaway group, did Max Walker. It's always a good prize to get though, the, uh, the fastest lap. 20 year old British rider, Max Walker. Took second in Clapton. Third here in Barking. Leaders, beginning with a sprint leader overall. To receive so our overall leader, so Harry Tanfield is just keeping that jersey warm for Matt Bostock. Remember, he's second in that classification. Bostock wears the yellow by virtue of it, of uh, being the team leader as well. But Matt Bostock extends his lead in that blue freewheel.co.uk jersey with one round to go. The intermediate sprint classification, definitely. And we will be seeing him again, the with Sun God rider. They took this jersey on round one in Gisborough. At the and they're still of the in the lead. They have not relinquished their grip so far. Once again, it has been uh, again another team, uh, strong team performance. But Ribble well tight taking the win on the night. But with Sun God are still your leaders in those yellow jerseys with one round to go. So Ben Perry, Matt Gibson, Matt Bostock, Rory Townsend. And Ollie Woods. So will they rode again dominantly again, didn't they, tonight as well? So twice winners of this series overall with Sun God. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. We will be back in about 25 minutes' time, five minutes before the women's start, and they will also have have a one hour plus five laps of racing. Make sure you come back and join us for that one. I'll see you in a little while from me, Martin McDonald. See you in a while, Martin, now.
Hello, good evening and welcome to round six of the sportsbreaks.com tour series here in Barking. The elite women now getting on to the start line, ready for their race. One hour plus five laps of uh, racing they have ahead on what is a fast circuit here on the penultimate round of this year's Tour Series. Thanks to company, thanks for joining us. I'm Marty McDonald. I will be taking you through tonight's race action. Let's have a closer look at the circuit, though, and what the riders will be contending with here so they go through this start and finish line here in uh, north street and you can see quite similar to other circuits that we've had here in the tour series so left into london road left again into abbey road and then we have this big sweeping bend that brings us back round just kicks on the inside of a roundabout into broadway and then it is about a hundred meters from that bottom corner up towards the line so it is a fast a circuit uh, uh, going by um, the men's race that we've already had don't worry it won't give you any spoilers of that it's a 1.2 kilometer circuit 0.7 miles and this brings to the end what has been a fabulous day here for our first visit to barking for the tour series and in terms of the general classification if you're new to the tour series it's a team competition so three riders from each team to count as they cross the line going into tonight is pro noctis rotor red chili bikes um, heidi kelson who are at the top of the leaderboard with 48 points so they can sew up the series here this evening um spectra wiggle uh, powered by vitus they are second with 38 points they were the round winners in clacton on sea so they are closing the gap they've got an experienced team as well team boom pods are in third spot with 31 points Jaden v Lavello are fourth with 29 then you have the team ldn brother uk in 20 with 24 points fifth camps basso the defending champion six of 23 who are also out for development they have 23 points in seventh data links paranesis they have 16 points in eight terrelli came in the ninth with 16 and then loughborough lightning are 10th with 12 points so as you can hear again the party started here embarking there's some great spots a bit of thunderstruck to kick things off haven't you the sprint classification is tighter and this is where this could be interesting here this evening one of the riders in the series you've got to say is brother uk ldn's sammy stewart two round winners sunderland and clapton and in clapton she went away second lap and stayed away for the entire race and she's closed the gap it's five points between joe tindley at the top of the sprints competition who is also wearing one of our yellow jerseys as a team leader five points to sammy stewart has 54 so it is really a battle between those two so the big question here this evening is joe tinley going to focus 100 percent on that team competition save the strength save the power and make sure that she doesn't um you know doesn't lose it um doesn't jeopardize anything in that we've got one hour plus five laps of uh, racing an hour including five laps i'm being told here um, for this one this evening so on the start line so cams basso come back in with a stronger team we've uh, they've got katie scott emma edwards beth morris sophie lewis and danny shrewsbury danny shrewsbury coming in making her first appearance this year in the tour series for pro noctis red chili bikes they have Betsy Jew, Isabel Darville, Joe Tindley, Lucy Elmore and Poppy Thompson. LDM Brother UK, Sammy Stewart, Danny Watkinson, Lauren Hyam and Polly Burge. Watch out for them. Then Jaden V. Lavello. They come in this evening with Suzetta Grini, Louise Scuppum, Kirsty Drakeford and Emma Jeffers. Uh, so they, uh, again, Jaden V. Lavello. Four riders this evening. We're getting the countdown. We have a sighting lap. So one lap to get yourself into position get your head together get the tactics right for when the the bike pulls off at the end of the sighting lap team boom pods ella mcdermott kerry parton emma matthews monica greenwood and lucy harris so they are uh, what they have been again team boom pods 
watch out for them. Monica Greenwood had a great last round, did Monica Greenwood. For Awol O'Shea, Charlotte Broughton here, always <laughs> gets herself onto the back of the bike. Really experienced rider in the Tour Series is Charlotte Broughton. She's been uh, racing the Tour Series for many years. So the Awol O'Shea, so they've got Maddie Wadsworth, um, Phoebe Martin, Georgia Bullen and Liv Bent too in there. There's Danny Shrewsbury for Cam's Basso. Good to see Danny back in here. Has been uh, out. We saw her last year with uh, LDM Brother UK, so now uh, signing with that Cam's Basso Team Racing Pro. There's um, Ella McDermott in the green and white of Team Boom Pods. And then for the Data Links Paranesis team, so Nicholas Sodden, Isabel Johnson, Sophie Holmes, Megan Anderson have both had a great series so far. Both of those riders up there throughout and Laura Cheeseman they also have this is your data links Paranesis team and uh, St Piran they are in their light blue so Emily Chilton Maddie Gammons Gabri Homer Gweno Hughes and Elizabeth Sanders that's your St Piran team so the St Piran women's team blue with the Cornish tartan you can see how here just gets, gets physical on the sighting lap as everyone just tries to get themselves up there there's a great view of the St Piran kit Lots of new oh trying to maneuver God. into the position. Sam Fawcett on the outside there. That's your the your Spectra Wiggle Vitus colours, your grey, uh, black and gold. So they've got Amira Mella, Gabby Shaw and Maddie Nutt backing uh, her up with Zan Crease um, as well. We just got a glimpse of Joe Tindley on the far side. There's Joe Tindley on the far side there. Looking for that first individual win as well. Zan Kreese uh, moving up just behind her. Joe Tindley um, still searching for that first individual Tour Series win on the night. So although if, you, if you're in, tuning in for the first time, so although it's a team classification, a uh, team competition, we celebrate the individual winner. Six times she's been second in races in the Tour Series as Joe Tindley. I don't think there'll be a dry eye in the house when she finally gets one. We're off and racing. Penultimate round here in Barking. Charlotte Broughton kicks things off again. We've uh, seen her do this multiple times throughout this year's SportsBreaks.com Tour Series. So the AWOL O'Shea rider just on the, uh, the front. Poppy Thompson right behind her. Ellen Bennett getting up there as well. So Ellen Bennett just uh, moving up. So the Brother UK orientation marketing team, they are in the black jerseys with the pink and uh, blue shoulders. If you've been with us in the tour series for many years, of course, that team was team on form and you would have seen Anna Henderson, who now races on the world tour for John, uh, for Jumbo Visma. She came through um, that setup and the pro team for that team is Cam's Basso. So they've got their development team as well. So they have uh, Maddie Verdigal, uh, Ellen Bennett, Hope Inglis, Ellen Inglis and Holly Ramsey in here this evening. For Loughborough Lightning, Frankie Hall, Flora Knight and Rasheen Lally. That is the makeup of that team. For Kate Torelli, Cayman Islands. Holly Breck, the American. You've got Kiefer O'Brien, Lee Boone, Anna Marie Lip, and Olivia Bentley. So that's pretty much everyone that you're uh, watching out for here this evening. So Poppy Thompson just on the front here, just calming things down. And uh, watch out, I think Cam's Basso are going to be uh, ready for something here this evening. Good time trialist as well as Danny Shrewsbury. So uh, maybe uh, they'll fancy the chances of something here in this one. With the last round in Clapton, if you didn't see it, you can go back and watch the either the live stream or check it out on the, the highlight show on the ITV Hub. That's on there for 30 days. Sammy Stewart, impressive ride in that one. What does she have tonight? We have three sprints throughout the race. So coming about every 15 minutes, five, four, three, two and one points, you'll get the klaxon, which sounds just before, as we go into the sprint lap. So you'll be able to know when that is uh, when that is coming. So five, four, three, two, and one points. We'll see how Pro Noctis are going to play this one. Um, last year they were going for both the sprints classification. It was a, a race between Ellen McDermott and Joe Tindley, and it was almost like I think they used a little bit too much power in the final round, and it ended up um, the overall went to Cam's Basso. So I think Pro Noctis will see can. 
Joe is again they don't want to use up too much team power Joe Tindley is experienced enough to just freelance a lot of the sprints and surf off uh, everybody else to be able to take that sprint classification and make sure she gets it Danny Shrewsbury makes an attack and it looks like the style I've got one of our team boom pods uh, riders uh, just behind her and it looks like uh, Sophie Holmes coming up as well for data linked paradises Joe Tindley getting in there as well so it looks like Monica Greenwood from team boom pods that's up there so four riders now going clear here already so data links paranesis so they really have the this team they've they're a team that have been around the tour series for many many years and the ominous sight now sammy stewart trying to come across here so at the end of that lap joe tindley sophie holmes danny shrosby monica greenwood and then sammy stewart trying to get across so a good move already early on in here at the end of uh, lap two it's Danny Shrewsbury of Cam's Basso trying to take that group off the front Sammy Stewart though didn't quite uh, make the jump kind of just pulled the group with her as she, as she went so uh, it's kind of pulled that group back together a little bit it looks like Holly Breck that's getting up there for the Torelli Cayman Islands Scimitar team but Data Links apparently says Sophie Holmes kicks out of that corner. So launches herself out of that corner, does Sophie Holmes. So clearly he's got good legs here this evening as the Data Links rider. So good to see her up there. And she's been there throughout the series. She's been in breakaways as well. So coming into this one has just decided to really go for it here. And Joe Tindley on the front and just kind of potentially just taking a leaf out of Sammy Stewart's book because everyone was coming up to Sammy Stewart after Clapton and saying, I had, I never thought you were going to be able to ride that one all the way to the finish, but she did. Holmes looking back over the shoulder though. We can see just a, a little reaction from that Torelli Cayman Island Scimitar team, but they are just pulling the, everyone along with them at the moment. They haven't managed to jump clear. So just pulling the group back um, not jumping away so swings out that corner so just brings everything back together there unfortunately like the early moves little attacks going through so Lee Boone comes through for Torelli Cayman Island Scimitar you can see that pace has just uh, opened up just as opening up a few gaps at the front as Monica Greenwood just comes through. Sophie Lewis moving up towards the front as well for Cam's Basso, Emma Jeffers in that light blue, purpley blue and pink jersey with the red and black helmet right in the center for Jaden Vive Lavello. Ellen McDermott now comes through for Team Boom Pods. And again, this team over the last few seasons, we've just seen them kind of growing in strength and uh, experience and stature. And Joe Tindley swings off. So Ellen McDermott makes a move here. Represented Ireland in last year's uh, European Road Race Championships. Did Ellen McDermott. And again, the reaction comes from Torelli Cayman Island Scimitar, but Holly Breck at the moment, again, just dragging the bunch with her up towards Ellen McDermott. So clearly they've been the instruction to get, to get something out of this one this evening, but nothing managing to stick here at the moment. Takes the opportunity to just have a look back over the shoulder. Will Ellen McDermott press on with this one? We'll kick it out of this corner, McDermott. So they come round at the end of the lap. So Holly Breck looks back over the shoulder, shakes her head to Lucy Elmore. Ellen McDermott leads through. And right on the front. So Katie Scott comes through. Sophie Enova. Katie Scott for Cam's Basso. So Ellen McDermott, second move of the night here from Ellen McDermott. So plenty of uh, riders keen to try and get clear here. Sophie Enova for 
the Alba development team you can see in the blue jersey. Third from the front, Zan Crease getting up there as well for Spectra Wiggle, but McDermott looks back over the shoulder and it looks like Enova's going to be the rider to go here with Zan Crease. Lucy Elmore straight on there. The Cam Spasso riders just looking around at the front. And again, this uh, Alba development team have just ridden themselves into the series and Sammy Stewart trying to come across in that blue jersey. So Sammy Stewart second in that classification behind Joe Tindley. So the, uh, she's going to want to make sure that nothing gets clear. She could do with maybe a bit of help from her uh, LDM brother UK teammates if they're in there to try and keep things under control for that first sprint. But what she needs to do as well, if she's going to close, is to put take one and hope that she can put four riders behind her and put herself level with Joe Tindley as early as she can. Four laps of racing so far. Remember, it's an hour in racing of in total tonight, including the final five laps. So as we confirmed there, so an hour including our five laps, so an hour total we're going to have here this evening. Little group here, just distance off the back of the group. Just lead you through, Frankie Hall coming up there in the purple of Loughborough Lightning. So just lead you, who led through? So Sophie Enova, Zancrease, Lucy Elmore, Sammy Stewart, Sophie Holmes, Joe Tinley, Monica Greenwood, Frankie Hall, Sophie Lewis and Kiefer O'Brien. Those were your top ten through the line that time. Frankie Hall, it's a distinctive style of the Loughborough Lightning rider, was away in that breakaway in Sunderland, took second place behind Sammy Stewart in that one. This is a good good point there it, and to make a move. So you saw that was where Sophie Holmes um, made her move. So uh, as this race goes on, it's going to be an interesting point, that one. It's a good place to potentially launch one into the corner and then absolutely kick it just out of that corner. Just launch yourself into it. Look at Cam's Basso in the yellow and red all up towards the front here. Sophie Holmes still up there for Data Links Paranesis. Sammy Stewart keeping herself well towards the front. So our first sprint of the night will be after about 15 minutes of racing. And those Pro Noctis uh, jerseys as well as we go into these uh, round six here in Barking and then our grand final in Manchester. The focus and the concentration to lead the series from start to finish and having to swap riders in and out as well in terms of uh, the general classification. You can't lose focus at all at any point in this series until you cross the line at the end of the race in Manchester. Um, looks like Poppy Thompson for Pro Noctis is just drifting off the back, so losing one rider. This is three counting riders, but it's Stewart and Tindley that are leading through. Sammy Stewart, we've, we, we've, we've said it previously one of the finds of the last couple of years of the tour series sammy stewart and joe tindley so experienced as i said six times she's finished second in tour series races yet to take an individual win so Kiefer o'brien in the blue there of uh, Torelli cayman islands scimitar there's sophie holmes Kate Richardson makes the move for Alba development. Straight on her, the riders from Boom Pods. So those green and white jerseys of Boom Pods. And if you are interested in some of our sponsors um, and, what, and what they do, I'll uh, I'll try and get a dig around and make sure that I get I'm, I'm make sure that I've got um, what every single company does. But Boom Pods are an interesting company because they make headphones and they, as, you, as you would. It's got a can music industry connection as Team Boom Pods, so they're uh, they are a really interesting team. The Klaxon sounds. It's a sprint lap. So Kate Richardson leading through. So Kate Richardson, Monica Greenwood, and then you have got Sammy Stewart, Joe Tinley, Sophie Holmes, Lucy Elmore, all up towards the front. So for. 
Joe Tindley should be quite happy here that these two riders have gone. You can see her. She's so experienced as well, is Joe Tindley. In this sprint, Tindley will be quite content that five points and four points are riding up the road here at the moment. And she'll be communicating that with her team, potentially. Because if you think, OK, the, the gap is five points. If we let five and four go clear and I manage to take the three or the two, then we're kind of keeping Sammy Stewart under control here. But it looks like they're going to bring it back. They're going to bring it back and lead out for Joe Tindley here in this one. It looks like Frankie Hall comes through attacks to try and get up to that group. Does the Loughborough Lightning ride up? Richardson. Again, we've uh, seen Kate Richardson off the front in breakaways already here in the Tour Series. Stewart, though, comes through in that blue jersey. Tindley moves out in the yellow jersey. They're moving up here. So it's the sprint lap. Lucy Elmore trying to help Joe Tindley in the sprint's classification. But uh, Sammy Stewart's sole focus is getting this, yeah, this uh, blue jersey. Leads it out here. Tindley locked right in on the wheel. Elmore is there. She'll want to try and put herself, if she can, between her team leader and Sammy Stewart out of that bottom corner, 100 meters to go up towards the line. Is Tindley gonna come through and take this one? So the sprint to the line, that was a long sprint from Sammy Stewart. But Joe Tindley takes maximum points. So Sammy Stewart leading that one out. So five points to Tindley, four points to Stewart. Elmore gets the three. Frankie Hall and Monica Greenwood, your other scorers there in sprint one. Sammy Stewart, she's got to be careful as well. She didn't look like she gassed herself a little bit there as she crossed the line. You can see that was a long lead out from Sammy Stewart. She's got to be very, very mindful of this. And we also have sprint points on the line. So five, three, two and one points are at the finish as well. So in terms of that sprint classification, you can't kind of go to sleep after sprint three. You have to try and, um, they'll have to try and make sure they uh, get themselves up there and try and um, score points on the line. Sammy Stewart, two round wins already, Sunderland and Clacton. Um, what can she do in this one tonight? Everyone just taking that opportunity there just to grab a little bit of a drink. It's been quite a, um, a frenetic start to the race here in Barking. Still about the, the weather forecast, it's still about 18 degrees. Um, it's been a nice warm day, uh, about a 15 uh, kilometer an hour westerly wind that's just going to kind of drop as the evening goes on as well. If you are just joining us, welcome. Thanks for your company. We are in round six of the sportsbreaks.com tour series. We are embarking on this uh, 1.2 kilometer circuit that we have, one hour of racing in total. And they're going into tonight. Pro Noctis, Rota, Red Chili Bike, Tidy Kelson are leading in the team classification ahead of so Spectra he, he Wiggle Vitus uh, with Team Boom Pods third with 31 points. But you can see the size of uh, this group. So just leading through. So Charlotte Broughton just leading the group through. Gabby Shaw on the front now for Spectra Wiggle. So Gabby Shaw, very experienced uh, rider as well. Gabby Shaw, the most successful rider in the Women's Tour Series history. Three times a team champion. Something, I think it's 18 top tens from the, off the top of my head but never has had an individual round victory as Gabby. She was with um, the Podium Ambition and Pearl Izumi um, teams of Dame Sarah Story, uh, but now with Spectra Wiggle Vita. So it's, uh, it's good to see her in here in racing. So it's just moved through onto the front. She was my secret weapon when I was a team manager for Dame Sarah Story's team. Gabby had this ability, has always had this ability. We used to just launch her off the start line like a rocket. We could say, she'd say, what's the team plan? And we'd go, 
just go from the gun, Gabby, and she just used to go from the gun and then just be able to sit back and recover. So she was always my secret weapon, was Gabby Shaw, in uh, coming into rounds of the Tour Series. So I go and see her at the front. It's going to be quite tactical here in this one, looking at this. So we've had quite, we've had some good attacks. Sophie Holmes, Ellen McDermott, both trying their hands off the front. And uh, Frankie Hall is going to make her move. So Frankie Hall attacks for the Loughborough Lightning. The team in the purple goes through. So Frankie Hall from Lib Bent from Awol O'Shea. Lee Boone, Joe Tin, Lee Kate Richardson all up there. Then Keith O'Brien. So Lib Bent comes through for Awol O'Shea. And Lee Boone takes over here for Torelli Cayman Islands Scimitar, another one of our uh, UCI registered teams. Didn't manage to field a, a team for a full team or a team for, for every round, uh, unfortunately, but they're still sit there. Uh, they are sitting uh, in terms of uh, the team general classification uh, coming into tonight. So, they are still sitting in ninth at the moment, our uh, Torelli Cayman Islands. So just picking up some back markers. A couple of our Loughborough Lightning uh, riders that are uh, in that group. They started three, so that will be Flora Knight and Rasheen Lally. Frankie Hall in the centre here, their team captain, their team leader. So that in terms of the individual win, there's plenty of riders in this group that haven't yet ever won a Tour Series race. And we have, I was just having a little look at down and seeing we've got 40 riders still left in this group at the moment by my calculation from looking at it. 10 laps completed so far. This is Emma Matthews. So we've got our uh, Team Boom Pods rider that's going to uh, attack. So Team Boom Pods keen to get things going. It's Lucy Harris, my apology, that's uh, made the move here for Team Boom Pods. And that looks like the style of Lucy Elmore in the background that's trying to come across. For Lucy Harris for Team Boom Pods. First time we've seen her on the attack. Let's a little glance back over the shoulder just to see what sort of damage that she's doing. Lines up for this next corner out of that section. This was the one where we said this could be a good place to go. Just really uh, kick it out of that corner. Elmore looks around. She's got Frankie Hall right on the wheel. Harris's teammates, though, up towards the front. So you can just see Ellen McDermott and Monica Greenwood just in that group behind, just trying to uh, just run a little bit of polite interference on the front for their teammate. So Lucy Harris, 28 years old from Oxford. Lives in Oxford, originally from Wandsworth. So quite a successful 2022 already as, uh, as Lucy Harris. So she won the odd down uh, winter series overall and three wins in that. She's had wins at the Cycler Park in Hillingdon and Preston Park up there in uh, at Goodwood as well so quite uh, successful races in the south of England as Lucy Harris she's a former rower as well comes in another multi uh, sport athlete and she also won the uh, the BUCS featherweight boxing title as well that's the university's uh, champion uh, championships isn't it and as a former rower she said everyone rides a bike in Oxford so uh, took it a bit more seriously after she quit rowing so this is it carry on with this one you can hear the the team managers in the pits that's the blue of Torelli Cayman Island scimitar that are on the front so Harris doing her postdoctoral research at Oxford University and there 
looks like that looks like the style of Holly Breck that's trying to come across there, but good to see Harris on the offensive here. So team boom pods. Again, they're just as the series has gone on, they've just really kind of ridden into the into the series. And they do sit third overall in the team standings with 31 points. And she does say her ambition is to be a pro cyclist. As a lot of uh, the riders in the Tour Series do mix their jobs and their studies as well as riders that are in there mixing it that are full-time bike riders. Harris, from so Lee Boone is this coming across got one of our Torelli Cayman Island Scimitar riders so we've got two riders now at the front so Lucy Harris and Lee Boone it's the Alva, Alva development team though that are doing the work on the front in the blue so Sophie Enever and Kate Richardson leading through the bunch so a bit of reinforcements now at the front here for Lucy Harris And unfortunately, there's one of your uh, Pro Noctis riders. It's just being uh, lapped by the group. They still have, they still have um, four riders uh, in that group. So they have got their, th they have got their three counters um, towards that classification. Boone swings, uh, swings through to the front. They are working nicely, but the Alba development uh, riders, Sophie Enever and Kate Richardson, do not want to let this one go here at the moment. So Boone, the New Zealander. She's from Cambridge in New Zealand, 21 years old. Lee Boone, so they're quite an international team. Just missed out on a medal in this year's New Zealand Individual Time Trial Championships, did Lee Boone. Raced in that Ronda, Ronda Van Moosgron as well. That's a fast race as well. Harris glances across at Boone. They just got to keep on with this one. 25, uh, just over 25 minutes of racing so far. 14 laps completed. So Cam's Basso now come through. Katie Scott towards the front for Cam's Basso. Boone and Harris though, so uh, they can see the gap. But Cam's Basso looks serious about this one tonight the defending champions Cam Spasso they sit sixth in the standings in terms of the team classification but they've had individual wins so far in the series they started it off with Sophie Lewis in Gisbra and then they uh, they took round two in Gala Shields with uh, with Megan Barker so in terms of the series in terms of the individual wins they've had uh, they've had two wins um, in the series so far not quite the the team classification and the team uh, series that they would have you would have uh, said they wanted as defending champions but um we'll see what they can do in this one sophie lewis has been sprinting well so far uh, this season the gap though just being brought back the awol o'shea colors on the front gets brought back under control here the junction is almost made but it does give us hope in terms of getting a breakaway clear here in this one as Lee Boone just glances back over the shoulder so Lucy Harris it's just that it just gets out of the saddle make sure she stays up towards the front of the group so into sprint lap Charlotte Broughton was the rider that brought it back together Ellen McDermott now pushes through for boom pods 
So they're a team on a mission tonight. You can see one after the other here at the moment. They are just launching moves right, off the front. Nick, you know this score by now. We've done it seven times. Five, uh, five, four, three, two, and one points on the offer at the end of the lap. So sprint one, Joe Tinley from Sammy Stewart, the first two in the classification for that freewill.co.uk blue jersey. Then you've got Lucy Elmore, Frankie Hall, Monica Greenwood. So Joe Tindley just holding that advantage. Just extending it slightly. Ooh, Helen McDermott just had to just throw the anchors on a little bit on that corner. Frankie Hall on the front. Sophie Holmes moving up. Monica Greenwood, Joe Tindley. Where is Sammy Stewart? Importantly, where is that blue jersey? She's a couple of riders back. Needs to get herself onto the wheel now of Joe Tindley, but also be mindful of how that first sprint went down. She used a lot of power early on in that first sprint, did Sammy Stewart. Potentially, you would say she does need to go a little bit longer because Joe Tindley a is a, a lot more a lot more of a punchy sprinter than Sammy Stewart. Sammy Stewart has that real sort of long, sustained, kind of drawn out sprint power. She can go from a long way out, but you've still got to measure your efforts if you're going to do it multiple times here this evening. Sophie Holmes out of the saddle, ups the pressure. Lucy Elmore out of the saddle in the center of your picture. Tindley is locked onto the wheel of the Data Links Paranesis rider here. Stewart on the outside in that blue jersey. Jeffers is right there. Tindley's going to go down one side of the road. Stewart's going to go down the other side of the road. But Joe Tindley and Sammy Stewart throw the bike at the line there. Oh, that was close. It looks like Joe Tindley got it again. So Tindley is, we thought, potentially would she start to just concentrate on that team classification and the answer is a resounding no here this evening she definitely wants to take uh, that sprints uh, classification again so the order across the line let's have a look at it as the uh, as they throw the bikes at the line here so tindley throws the bike stewart throws the bike tindley takes it by just a fraction that is uh, quite a battle emerging and Sophie Holmes took uh, fifth place at that time. So it's Maddie Wadsworth on the front. But it's li lining up nicely, isn't it? In terms of the sprint classification. So Joe Tinley, 10 points she's scored tonight to Sammy Stewart's eight. So 69 to 62 we're on at the moment. I'm rubbish at maths as well, but I'll do my best. There's still a decent sized group here, isn't it? Plenty of attacking racing here. If, you are just, uh, if you're joining us, welcome along. Thanks for your company. This is our final race of the night here in round six, the penultimate round of the sportsbreaks.com tour series. We are embarking. And we are on this 1.2 kilometer circuit here. We've had a full day of activities and racing. We've had our men's race. And uh, this one is lining up. It's a great uh, finish um, to the day. Olivia Bentley just leading through here for Torelli Cayman Island Scimitar. Just ahead of Sophie Lewis. You mentioned she took the opening round in uh, Gisborough. And our team leaders are Pro Noctis, Rotor Red Chili Bikes, Heidi Kelson. They are at the top with 48, to Spectra Wiggles 38, and Team Boom Pods third with 31 uh, in the general standings. Jaden B. Blavello are fourth currently with 29, LDM Brother UK with 24, Camps Basso sixth with 23. So it is still quite tight. Alba Development have got 23, eighth Data Links Paranesis with 16, Torelli came in with 16, and ninth and Loughborough Lightning are 10th with 12. So in terms of that, um, third so still the podium, you would say, for the team. Uh, in this one for second and second and third is still uh, quite open. Pro Noctis can um, sew it up tonight here in Barking. We have our grand final, our grand finale in Manchester on Tuesday night. So make sure you join us for the live stream for that. And also um, don't forget the day after our, our live stream coverage. It's the first time we've done live coverage 
of the tour series. We also have our highlights show on ITV4, um, which will go out uh, tomorrow night, so Sunday night at 7 p.m. And then the uh, the grand final um, will go out next Wednesday. And those shows are available for 30 days on the ITV hub as well. So I hope you have enjoyed our live stream coverage throughout the tour series so far. The round six it has gone quick as we uh, we head towards our grand final on Tuesday night. There's still a lot to play for. And I think as well, that's kind of credit to the points and how the point system works. It keeps it nice and open um, right up to the, uh, to the final, which is good. So Olivia Bentley leading through for Torelli, Cayman Island Simtar. Sophie Lewis, Joe Tinley, Frankie Hall, Zan Kreese still up towards the front. And then you have Sammy Stewart, Sophie Holmes, Danny Shrewsbury is still there as well. Emma Jeffers sitting in there in ninth. Maddie Wadsworth in 10th, still in the group as well. Monica Greenwood, Sophie Langford, Ella McDermott, Holly Breck, Lee Boone, Lucy Elmore, Kate Richardson, Sophie Enneva, Liv Ben, and Anna Marie Lip. That's your top 20 riders through there. Still in there as well. This is Etta Garini um, for Jaden Fiebla Velo. So good to see uh, Suzetta still in there as well. Frankie Hall, though. Make a little move on the front here. Danny Shrewsbury, right on up. Joe Tindley and Zan Crease. Then Sammy Stewart. And then I think the A. Wall O'Shea rider with the yellow shoes there is Liv Bent. So uh, everyone just scrapping it around. Frankie Hall's got this is a uh, having seen how um, she rode in Sunderland, it's got good power on a course like this as Frankie Hall. Danny Shrewsbury, though, presses through towards the front here. Shrewsbury took the stage win this year in the Peaks, uh, the Peaks Two Day. That was a really popular race this year. It's great to see the addition of the Peaks Two Day onto the domestic calendar. So, uh, by all accounts, it was really, really. Um, positive reports from the peaks uh, today. Uh, took fifth overall in that as well, did Danny Shrewsbury, so, and has, has been racing as, as well in Europe, as we said. We come through at the end of 19 laps of racing, still a decent sized group here. Ellen McDermott constantly up towards the front. Sammy Stewart though on your right they're, they're going to be so wise to Sammy Stewart now though aren't they in terms of the you know letting her get clear because she, they, she's one of those riders and we said as well the way she rode in Clacton on sea was, was impressive to time trial your way around a criterium circuit uh, and hold off a bunch like that is impressive stuff but people do the bunch your your uh, your rifles do start to get wise to you after a while and you, they, they they start to think that no, we can't let her go we we'll give her 10 meters she'll take a minute so uh, i think they're starting to get a little bit wise to her as well so mcdermott tindley crease jeffers emma jeffers as well in uh, uh, sitting in fourth spot at the moment the young rider um from jaden v lavello has Put herself up there, put a name up there now as uh, Emma Jeffers in terms of Tour Series winners uh, at 17 as well to, to take that one. Really, uh, really impressive stuff um, for the rider from Jaden V. Lavello. And I think for, for that team that have been with us throughout the Tour Series for many, many years, um, it's great to see them really uh, getting some success here as well. And Boom Pods as well. So impressed with the way Boom Pods have been racing in this series. If you've been with us for the last few seasons and, and followed the progress of this team, they work really uh, hard, work really well together. Um, a really good team unit as well. Leading through the line that time. So Sophie Langford leads through. Nothing, we have those early attacks, nothing managing to stick at the moment holly breck the american now just coming through in the blue those dark blue colors they look serious um, about this one tonight as well the uh, the torelli team You've got plenty of fast finishers in that group though and we have raced 
third, well, so we're over halfway. If you weren't with us right at the top of the show, we are doing an hour including five laps there. So Holly Brack attacking out of that corner. As we said, that's a good place to go. Just throw yourself into that corner and then just launch it out of the corner. You can see she's managing to stretch the group out. And all you're hoping is that just someone swings out and leaves a crack and all, all of a sudden you're gone. Sophie Langford, quite comfortable second wheel though for the Alba development team. Pro Noctis have got to watch the, the Spectra Wiggle team as well. So Sophie Langford has a look back over the shoulder, swings off the whole group still with them. Who will be the next rider to go? Can anyone get clear here in this one? At the moment, it's uh, you can see that the group is just kind of disintegrating from the back. It's just getting little groups. They're just fracturing off the back under the pressure at the front. Um, we've had a few breakaway groups, a few attacks, nothing really managing to stick. So Keith O'Brien leads the bunch through this time. So we are going to have uh, our next intermediate sprint will uh, come soon. O'Brien just leading it out here. Her team very active throughout this one so far. Watch out for those Cam's Basso riders though as well. Sophie Lewis just moving out, swinging out of the group and just taking that opportunity to have a, a little glance around. Fast finisher is Sophie Lewis. Track rider, National Omnium champion could be someone that we can really watch out for this one should it come down to a bunch sprint. So if it comes down to a bunch sprint out of this group, there are some, we've got some, um, some fast finishers in there. O'Brien though, keeping the pressure on on the front. Last lap was at 145.082. Best lap for Keith O'Brien, 141.366 for uh, Keith O'Brien. What's up there is one of the fastest laps so far. Danny Shrewsbury, though, takes over, leads through for Cam Spasso. going here for to the Awol O'Shea team. Getting out of that section of the course, just having a look back over the shoulder, good to see some other colours as well. Getting in on the mix here with the attacks. Basso though, Danny Shrewsbury on the front that's setting the pace. So good move. Good to see Awol O'Shea getting in on the mix with multiple different riders. Charlotte Broughton, we saw early on, always likes to lead off the back of the bike if she can. Gap is opening, just takes that opportunity to just have a little glance back over the shoulder. She'll just be hoping that there'll just be a little bit of pressure, potentially might just go off the front of that group and just give her the opportunity to try and get clear here. That's a lapped group just uh, coming through the start finish line. Is there going to be any reaction from that group behind? So Liv Bent, your leader, 
Frankie Hall attacks through. Second wheel, Beth Morrow trying to get on terms as well. So Liv Ben, will she get some uh, reinforcements here? It's uh, Joe Tindley trying to come across to Beth Morrow and Frankie Hall. Good move by Liv Ben though, as uh, Tindley just brings that group back. So unfortunately, just a few riders in between. It just get brought that brought that group back. Frankie Hall digs into that corner. Is going to kick it out of that turn. Is Beth Morrow going to go? It'd be the next rider to go here for Cam's Basso. So they're stretching this out now. We have just inside 20 minutes of racing to go here for our final race of the evening. And still a sizable group of riders still in contention for that individual win on the night. Then you've got the likes of Cam's Basso that have still got multiple riders. Alba Development have still got multiple uh, riders in there as well. Um, Torelli have still got multiple riders. Remember, you've got to count three riders towards the team classification. Boom Pods still got team uh, strength in numbers in their team as well in terms of uh, looking for that team win on the night. Emma Jeffers now just moving up there in the light blue, dark blue, that red and black helmet. Sammy Stewart in that blue jersey, the clacks and sounds for the final uh, intermediate sprint of the evening. Don't forget, we've got sprint points on the line. Joe Tindley, the sprint's leader, has won the first two sprints. She took the sprint classification in 2021. She wants to retain it as well as taking the team classification here in the sportsbreaks.com tour series. She's the rider on the front in that yellow jersey on the right of your picture. Frankie Hall in the purple and Emma Jeffers. Sammy Stewart just needs to lock herself onto the wheel now of Tindley. She starts to move up in that light blue freewheel.co.uk jersey. Zan Crease just moving through on the outside for Spectra Wiggle. Our second place team. Just have a look and see who's still in there for their team in terms of counting towards that classification. But Tindley cornering there and just gaps the group. Looks back over the shoulder. Stewart's three riders back from her at the moment. Joe Tindley, you can see him mindful of the amount of power that she might be using up for these intermediate sprints. Sammy Stewart, let's give herself some time. She's hoping for a bit of a lead out here from Emma Jeffers, I think. Here comes Sophie Holmes in the uh, fluorescent yellow, red and black uh, colors there of Data Link's Paranesis. Here comes Ellen McDermott. Stewart's got to be careful that she doesn't get boxed in here for this sprint. Can Stewart get a lead out from Sophie Holmes here? Tindley on your right in the yellow jersey. Stewart on your left in the blue jersey as you look at the front of the bunch. Frankie Hall, though, comes through. Lines this one up. Stewart's got to go the long way round. You can see Tindley at the inside line there. Came off the wheel of Frankie Hall. Sammy Stewart trying to close it down. But Frankie Hall wants the maximum points here. So Hall from Tindley and Stewart. So Frankie Hall has consistently scored points as well throughout the uh, the series so far. So leading through. So Joe Tindley takes the four points. Sammy Stewart takes the three. Perhaps just maybe just starting to feel those multiple long breakaways in the legs. Sammy Stewart. But it could line us up beautifully for our grand finale in Manchester. As we bring the curtain down on this year's sportsbreaks.com tour series, it would be great if we can have coming right down to the final sprint for that jersey. So five, four, three, two, and one points. Don't forget on the line towards that uh, classification as well. So lots to calculate when you cross the line. Tindley on the front. Monica Greenwood goes again from a little bit further down the group as well. Nicely timed move there by Monica Greenwood of Boom Pods. Just launched that one from a bit further down the group. We've seen riders as well. That's a good place to go. You want to uh, launch from that point so that by the time you get to the front, you're going like an absolute rocket ship 
Like you've been fired out of a cannon. And that just means the ride. You've got that momentum. You've got that. Um, you've got that power. You've got that speed. And by the time the riders have reacted, you've got this sort of gap. Let's have a little replay of the sprint. So there's Frankie Hall crossing the line for a lot for a lightning. Joe Tinley takes the four. Sammy Stewart takes the three, just ahead of Emma Jeffers. So Monica Greenwood from Bollington in Cheshire. Originally from Stockport, she won the Eddie Soans in 2022. So she's had a great start to the year. That was a very prestigious race at Aintree Racecourse. Fourth in the Peaks uh, two-day time trial as well. She was ninth on the general classification in that one. Bronze medal in the 2020 National Hill Climb Championships as well. She was the Masters Criterium, National Masters Criterium champion in 2021 for the 30-35 uh, age group. She's a GB cycling team coach, working with the women's endurance squad, working with them at the Tokyo Olympics. Good move now by Greenwood. Really timed that well, did Monica Greenwood, the way she attacked. So 47 minutes of racing so far. We are doing an hour in total. So what we'll, uh, they'll get shown five laps to go pretty soon. As uh, you can see the reaction from the group behind. Let's see who's working on the front. Greenwood just pressing on with this one as she comes round at the end of this lap. So 140.508 is the best lap so far for Monica Greenwood and it's the Spectra Wiggle Vitus team that are doing the work on the front. It's like Amira Mella that leads through. So Amira Mella, they uh, are in second in the team classification at the moment. There's your next group going through. But Greenwood has got to, still got that small advantage. It's enough though, you would say, for Monica Greenwood. Can she carry on with this one? Amira Mella for Spectra Wiggle. They'll be looking to try and take another team win on the night if they can. We can see those Pronoctus yellow jerseys right on the wheel of Mira Mella. Multidisciplined rider, cyclocross rider as well is Amira Mella. Just swings off the front wheel. This help. Greenwood, you can see the riders just swinging around, looking at each other. The gap, though, has has um, come back a little bit, which means that it just gives the riders that confidence that they can jump the gap. They've bunched those spreads across the road, and Greenwood will persist with this effort. Will this help her just extend that advantage yet again? It's Amira Mella did a long, sustained effort on the front before she looked around, and for Greenwood, the gap opens again. So Greenwood takes that opportunity, looks across at the pits, has a chance to look back across that corner. So a solo win. We're heading up towards the final 10 minutes of racing here this evening in Barking. If you are just tuning in, welcome aboard. It's our final race of the night. Round six of the sportsbreaks.com tour series in Barking. This 1.2 kilometer circuit and the Spectra Wiggle Vitus team are the team that are doing the work on the front. Zan Kreese taking over from Amira Mella. So clearly they have the confidence that they might be able to take a sprint in this one. The reaction though from Cam's Basso looks like Danny Shrewsbury that's going to close this one up. So the catch is made. So rider on the inside there just with the hand up just letting the bunch know that they're there. That was a good move by Monica Greenwood. Multiple teams wanting to keep this one under control. 
Jeffers, great sprinter, is the rider in second wheel there. Just keeping herself up towards the front We're inside this final 10 minutes of racing. Sophie Holmes the same. Harris goes again here for Team Boom Pods. Shrewsbury right on her. Holmes and Jeffers just floating around the front of this bunch for Jaden Vive Lavello and Data Links Paranesis. Monica Greenwood has just slotted in there about five or six riders back from the front, just trying to recover there. They've been really active tonight. It's been an impressive ride tonight from the team that sit third in the general classification. So Lucy Harris on the front looks back at Danny Shrewsbury. So they've got Sophie Lewis in this group, have Cam's Basso. You would say that they were you would be pretty confident in Sophie Lewis's sprint at the end, if you were Cam's Basso, for that individual win. You can just see the yellow jerseys of Lucy Elmore, Isabel Darvel just moving up on the outside. You've got um, Joe Tindley right in the centre. Five laps to go this time. They're being shown the lap board. So five to go. So still plenty of riders in that group that are still in contention in this one. Ellen McDermott through to the front. Could they potentially take one here? Team Boom Pods. They've never won around it. Emma Matthews has got a good sprint on her as well from Team Boom Pods. Could be a rider that they could watch out for come the sprint. Five laps to go. So you're getting, uh, being shown your lap board. Irish National Criterium champion in the 2019 was Ellen McDermott. Took two top five placings last year. She's had a couple of bronze medals as well in the Irish National Champion uh, Irish National Championships. She's just been a Scottish champion in the Madison as well in the points race. As Ellen McDermott, the pressure though off the front. Oh, they just uh, taking their chance just to have a little drink. Holly Breck on your right there in the dark, in the darker blue of Torelli. The Alba jerseys move up as well. Boone on the left. So uh, Torelli came in Ireland, Scimitar left and right in that bunch. Gabby Shaw moves up on the left. Zan Kreese is there. The Pro Noctis team though in those yellow jerseys, keeping themselves in the centre. Sophie Holmes here. Sophie Holmes got a good sprint on her as Sophie Holmes. She's got to be aware. Don't use up too much power. She's got to surf off the other trains here and freelance this sprint. Try and use Cam's Basso if they lead out. Use Pro Noctis if they're going to lead this one out as well. Langford now for Alba Development. Four laps to go this time. So the Alba Development team, multiple jerseys in there. So it looks like as F F no, it looks like it could be a group sprint here. No one managing to get clear. That last attack of Monica Greenwood. Good move, though, but Sophie Langford looks back over the shoulder. So who uh, they can watch those. So Torelli having a good night. They've got three jerseys up towards the front here. Uh, Kiefer O'Brien, Holly Breck and Lee Boone. Here comes Frankie Hall. So she'll be just thinking about the individual win on the night. Her two teammates have uh, been lapped. So Frankie Hall will be looking for that individual win on the night. So her teammates will have, uh, they get to sprint out with three laps to go. For Sophie Holmes of Data Links. Paranesis in the centre. Again, there's teams in here for whom tour series individual win would be a huge performance and really solidify what they've been doing over the uh, over many many years 
in this series. So three laps to go this time. So this group. So Olivia Bentley leading through. So Joe Tinley, Lucy Elmore, Frankie Hall all up towards the front. Sophie Enema, Enema, um, Enema McDermott, Monica Greenwood, Sophie Lewis and Lee Boone. Olivia Bentley, she's had a good ride tonight as well, Olivia Bentley. Has a sheer come, here comes Sammy Stewart on the outside. Does Stewart fancy her chances of a late attack here for LDN Brother UK? There's Sophie Lewis just moving out for Camps Basso. Watch out for Lewis in the sprint. A little, uh, just a slight descent into that corner. Just narrows down. Watch out for Jeffers as well in this sprint. Stewart and Tinley, they might be mindful of those points towards that sprint competition on the line. Ellen McDermott also got a, a decent sprint on her as Ellen McDermott. Charlotte Broughton moving up on your left in those sort of rainbow colored sleeves with the white body on the jersey. Olivia Bentley though still leading out on the front here for Torelli. Holmes right on the wheel, Tindley. Can Joe Tindley take an individual win here? Tindley six times second, still hunting for that first win individually in this one. She has got her mind though on that team classification, on that sprint classification, but Knowing Joe Tindley, as long as I've known her, she would want, she wants an individual win as well. That the, the fame and the glory of crossing the line first as well would mean a lot to we someone, the National Criterium yes, champion as well, as she is. This is going to be an interesting group sprint. Two laps to go this time here in Barking at a great circuit, 1.2 kilometre circuit. Here comes Cam's Basso. Are they going to lead this one out en masse? It looks like they are. Sophie Lewis trying to get in on the wheels of her teammates here. So Cam's Basso coming into tonight. Katie Scott, Emma Edwards, Beth Morris, Sophie Lewis and Danny Shrewsbury. Sophie Holmes. They get data links and uh, Cam's Basso colours. Quite bright, quite similar. So you're looking, uh, you've got the one yellow shoulder, one red shoulder of uh, Sophie Holmes. Joe Tindley, the National Criterium Champion, right on the wheel in second wheel. Ellen McDermott behind, latches onto the wheel of Sophie Lewis, Emma Jeffers, Sammy Stewart, all up towards the front. They're going to get one lap to go when they come round to the start-finish line this time. Holmes right on the wheel of Joe Tindley. Lewis, the winner in Gisborough, right behind her. So the, uh, the way this series has panned out so far, Sophie Lewis on round one, Ella, uh, we had Megan Barker on round two, Sammy Stewart taking round three in Sunderland, round four went to Emma Jeffers, and then round five for the second time went to Sammy Stewart in this series. Are oh, we gonna have a new name at the top of the uh, individual win here tonight? Sophie Holmes just uh, on the outside there, just uh, needs to just tuck in maybe a little bit at the moment, sitting out in the wind. Tindley, you can see is right on the wheel, just uh, freelancing this sprint off the lead out here of Cam's Basso. It's gonna be a bell lap this time. Monica Greenwood has also got herself into the right position. Here come the Alba development team with Kate Richardson on the outside. She's Zetta Garini also trying to move herself up for Jaden Vivlavello, but it's Beth Morrow still pressing on with that lead out of the front from Joe Tindley, Sophie Holmes, Sophie Lewis, Kate Richardson, Ella McDermott, Monica Greenwood, Charlotte Broughton, Suzetta Garini and Sophie Enova, Frankie Hall just behind there. Jeffers, though, we're seeing moving up, but it's Suzetta Garini on the front here for Jaden Vivlavello. Where is her young teammate as well? Emma Jeffers. Garini here, such an inspiring bike rider. Started racing at 46, now 54. Is Suzetta Garini was in the breakaway in Sunderland. Her son Monty racing in the elite men's races for the 0503 team, but now she has got such great power as Suzetta Garini. Kate Richardson right on the wheel. Jeffers and Holmes battling to stay up there. Lewis is poised and ready. Uh, Broughton just on the outside there for Awol O'Shea moves up. Holly Breck is also there. 
through the center. Lewis keeping herself up towards the front and out of trouble for Cam's Basso. Sophie Holmes, is it going to be the dream night for them? Here goes Holly Breck. Is Holly Breck going to go for a long one for Torelli? Holly Breck from the USA, from California, is going to go launch the long sprint here. But Emma Jeffers on the outside. Holly Breck out of the saddle here. Sophie Lewis is right there as they go past the pits. This time, Lewis, Tindley, Holmes, Jeffers. Um, McDermott on the outside. McDermott moves through for Boom Pods. Ella McDermott on the outside. They line up for the line now. Ella McDermott launches the sprint for the line. Emma Jeffers is there. Is it going to be Ella McDermott? Ella McDermott for Team Boom Pods takes the victory. Ella McDermott crowns what has been a phenomenal night for Team Boom Pods. The individual win on the night. Ellen McDermott, it's been a long time coming, you would say, but finally a couple of years, and there you have it. The congratulations all round for Ellen McDermott. Takes that win, timed that perfectly. Delight all round. Popular rider within the bunch is Ellen McDermott. There you have it. What a sprint, and Emma Jeffers again is in there. Richardson up there for Alba. But yeah, you have it. Team Boom Pods take their first ever individual win on the night here in Barking. You got to say they had a plan. Lucy Harris, Monica Greenwood as well, all off the front tonight for the team. Kerry Parton, their fourth uh, rider in there as well, and Emma Matthews. You can just see when a team have just got it clicked. They come in with a plan and they execute the plan. So that will be a popular one for uh, Ella McDermott. And was up there last year. If you followed last year, it was a battle in the intermediate sprints between uh, Ella McDermott. Still can't believe it, can she? It's brilliant. Uh, and Joe Tindley. And uh, it was one of those, it was a really, uh, she said it was, she was really, really consistent until she launched herself in, into space um, in uh, Castle Douglas. But uh, 33 years old, lives in, uh, originally from Tullamore in Ireland, lives in Whitby. And she's had some, uh, some top tens. She had a third in Belgium. So Nikki Metcalf and the team, I'm sure, are just going to be celebrating this one. And if you followed the tour series for a few years, you'll you, you'll just have as well have followed this team's progress, and it is it is good when everything just pays off. But that was a very very well perfectly executed sprint wasn't it you just saw the way ellen got the momentum around the outside i am joined by Phil from team boom pods oh my goodness nicky will be the latest of that won't you and we'll see as well. Let's have a look at our lap. Just have a look down. Let's have a replay of the sprint. Look at that. Got that momentum around the outside. Just can carried that speed. Just launched herself off that uh, that attack there of uh, Holly Breck. But Emma Jeffers in second. But the night belongs to Ellen McDermott and Team Boom Pods, you would say. Multiple attacks tonight. And you just saw the delight of everyone else in the bunch as well, which tells you a lot about the rider. Let's have a look back at round six of the sportsbreaks.com tour series here in Barking. Our first visit to Barking and the battle. Joe Tindley defends her sprints lead over Sammy Stewart, who's had, who 
perhaps you might think might have been paying for that long solo break around Clacton tonight. Lucy Harris of Boom Pods, one rider who's attacked. She held that attack for quite a while. Lee Boone getting herself up to her. Liv Bent had a go as well for Awol O'Shea. But it really was always going to come down to that group sprint. This was our third sprint. So Frankie Hall from Joe Tindley and Sammy Stewart. And then Emma Jeffers and Sophie Holmes taking points. They were scoring points on the night. Cam Spasso were keen, though, for a bunch sprint. Beth Morrow doing a great job on the front with the rest of the Cam Spasso team. But you can see here the lead out. So Tindley, Holmes, then you've got, uh, then you've got Ellen McDermott right up there. Look at the way. Watch the rider there in the green and white with that red helmet. Suzetta Garini, another great night by the Jaden Vive Lavella rider. Great power, keeps that pace nice and high on the front. And then just launch the move round the outside does the Irish rider for Team Boom Pods and can celebrate that win. So there was two points in it between you guys you and enjoy that. Boom Pods into their third place and fourth Great place. attack there as well from Monica Greenwood. Lucy Harris you saw there as well. So celebrations all round for the team. And just making her way over towards uh, the podium. And if you want to know a little bit more about the team, they were established in 2017. Their big aim was supporting and progressing women's cycling. And uh, they're based in the Northeast, but are riders from across the country. And their big target each year is the National Series and the Tour Series. And they've got 11 riders. And they've brought in some new sponsors this year as well with uh, Big Bear Bikes and Velo 29 events uh, in addition to Boom Pods. So the team is definitely uh, growing and uh, good to see them getting up there. And uh, they had... Uh, uh, I'm with team manager Nicky who uh, came third in the novice race today. You must be a wee bit happy. Just a little bit, which absolutely. She said she was going to that come and come it and she did it and she just got it and she's so happy it's been coming for a long time it needed it needed yeah um, what it's uh, what it looks like it might have done is it might have cemented your third place uh, it looks like it's going to be a wee bit more difficult for Jenny Vive Lavello to, to pick you we've not got the full um, the full points is that a big weight off your mind it is on riders um, I thought we had I just thought I'd let you see if you could uh, hear Nikki. I hope you could hear Nikki and just chatting about that. What were you hoping for coming into the, the series as a whole? Top three. We hit fifth last year and we won the top three this year. Good on you. Right. Good to see the Northeast and the Scots and a wee touch of Irish doing well there. Thanks very much, Nikki. So Go Nikki Metcalf saying they came in and they targeted the uh, top three and that's where they're sitting in the... Uh, general classification thanks to you as well and um, thanks for your company this evening I've, I've had um, videos as well thanks to Sam and others for sending me um, some shots of your tour series snacks and dinners and feasts and banquets that you've all got going on I hope you've had some good tour series snacks tonight to get you through the night um, we have one round to go and it's on Tuesday our grand finale we're going to Manchester always love going to Manchester for racing um, so Dean's Gate is the sort of start finish straight so if you're local to Manchester and you want to go down and, and watch it live you can watch our live stream as well the beauty of modern and technology you can uh, watch it on your phone or, or something while you're there watch the live stream and watch the race live as well so if you want to go along to Manchester um, on uh, Tuesday that is our grand final so Dean's Gate uh, and it's a it's a square circuit based 
around there so it will be uh, it'll be another quick one but it will be uh, great if you're local to manchester or you want to go and check it out um, make sure you do it's always good to uh, it's always a good atmosphere um to have that live as well if you weren't with us earlier so excuse if i repeat myself i do like to let you know about barking and our venues so if you were with us for the men's race excuse me um so uh, i'll do that afterwards we've got our victory ceremony And don't forget our highlights show is tomorrow, Sunday 22nd at 7 p.m. on ITV4. So you can watch our great highlight show. And there's um, Hannah um, is, and you can join Hannah and myself. Um, and there's interviews and features and everything. So the highlight show is fabulous. So if you enjoy the live stream and you've never watched our uh, highlight show, go and check it out. It's on ITV4 tomorrow. And then for 30 days on the ITV Hub. So you can watch it as many times as you want to. So we're just waiting for the arrival of our uh, winners on the podium. So Nick Padawan on to the podium to present our prizes. Councillor Shade, right, guys, uh, onto the podium. We are going to have our individual winner on the night. Receiving the flares, but also the Mary Wilson Craft Cup. Your individual winner on the night for Team Boompaws is Ellen McDermott. Ellen McDermott for Team Boompaws. Your individual winner on the night, and she takes the Mary Wilson Craft Trophy. Receive the Mary Wilson Craft Cup. From uh, Councillor Sade Bright, your individual winner on the line for Team Boompods, Ellen McDermott. So, Ellen McDermott, it's been coming for a while, and finally, that win on the night arrives for the Irish rider. Our next presentation is for the celebration from the team, the as you can imagine. And taking maximum points in the sprints in round six for the team of Pro Noctis Rota. Red Chili Bikes, presented by Heidi Kiesen, your sprint winner on so the night. So, our, in our sprint winner on the night, Joe Tindley, has led that sprint competition from round one. Very consistent sprinting performance from Joe. Receiving the flyers of our individual sprint winner on the night. But with that big sprint for the so line, defended that jersey well tonight. Well, I can tell you for the first time in this tour series, the team win goes the team of Torelli Cayman Islands Scimitar. So Torelli Cayman Islands Scimitar take the team win on the night. So for the first time, and they had another great night, didn't they? They, uh, they, uh, it's good to see them riding um, in the manner that they did. So Holly Brett, Kiefer O'Brien, Lee Boone, Anna Marie Lip, and Olivia Bentley are your team winners on the night. Very international team. So the fastest lap. As often happens, that fastest lap recorded in the closing lap of the race for the team of Jaden V. Lavello. The fastest lap goes to Emma Jeffers. Emma Jeffers is the fastest lap. So the young rider from Jaden V. Lavello with a time of 138.943 for Emma Jeffers, making quite a name for herself in this year's Tour Series. And so to our overall prizes, and we begin with the sprint leader overall, with just one round. Sprint leader overall is going to be our next presentation, and it is our blue freewheel.co.uk jersey for our uh, intermediate sprints classification joe tindley back on the podium such an experienced rider is joe tindley leading that pro noctis team 
in the manner that she does. She is the sprint uh, leader. And speaking of holding jerseys from round one right through to round six, the team who will be the team leaders overall at the end of tonight's racing going into the final round in Manchester on Tuesday are once again Peronoxis, Rota, Red Chili, so They went Mille into the night Jason, with 48 today, points to Spectre Wiggles 38 and Boom Pods 31. But Pro Noctis Rota, Red Chili Bikes, Heidi Kielsen to give them their full name tonight. They were represented by Bexy Jew, Isabel Darville, Lucy Elmore, Poppy Thompson and Joe Tindley. They have led the series from round one and they go into our grand final in uh, Manchester with those leaders jerseys, those freewill.co.uk yellow jerseys. What a night we have had here embarking some great racing and uh, make sure you join us for uh, our grand final in Manchester on Tuesday. I will bid you farewell from me, Martin McDonald. Have a great night. Bye for now.